the day has come. Frenemies. Okay, who's gonna do this? Last time you did it, you gotta oh. back up and let me do it. No, last time you did it. Wasn't it you you jumped in? I was like, wow, good job. No, I I did it two weeks ago. You did it last week, and now I. Oh, for real? Okay, go ahead. Hey guys, and welcome back to Frenemies. Today we are doing the presidential fitness test, Frenemy style. <laughs> Wait, it's not the presidential fitness test. Well, but our it, version of the presidential fitness test. Could you pass the presidential fitness test? Why I is never it called did. the president? Like the president doesn't give a fuck if I could do push-ups. You know what I mean? Not our, our current one. Definitely can't do push-ups. Joe Biden? Yeah. Wait, he challenges people. I feel like he could ah. do some. Yeah, he's a, he's a fit old no, bird. No, hey, I like him, but yeah. Why would you shit on our dear president? Okay, no, I'm kidding. So, um, wait, and we should just say start the show by hashtag stop the Asian hate. We need to just say address. what? Stop the Asian hate. More people need to talk Who's about it. Who's getting on Asians? No, it's like a trend. It's a tr hashtag right now, and I feel like it needs to bring more awareness. We, we won't talk about it too long, but I What's just want to What's wrong with what are people doing in the no, Asians? No, there's a lot of Asian hate crimes happening right now, and there in our, are in our country. It's a huge thing right now, and I think three thousand in Who's the doing past. Asian like, hate crimes. People who are like, well, you know, who started it? Trump. He ignited it not to make it politi like, oh, political. Oh, because of, because of that, you think? Oh no, oh. it is like, especially specifically older. Who's gonna hate on? Who's gonna? He has the facts, but especially who's... elders. Uh, I think seven percent are elders that are getting. Oh. The, they're like people are just beating the shit out of them and they're dying. What? Who's doing these? It's a things? huge thing right now. And it's not, Stop the Asian hate. Talking about, it, uh, talking about who's it. doing that? Who who's got time to hate on Asians when there's so many Jews walking around? So if you want to be an ally. <laughs> What, Jews? Oh. People love Jews now. It's super trendy. Although that girl got fired for being a Jew. Remember from the Star Wars thing? There was a girl that was Jewish and got fired. I don't think she got fired for being Jewish. I think she got fired for saying, oh, no, no, no. She's, I don't think she's Jewish. What she said was that. She's a Nazi. She said wearing a mat, or she said being a conservative is like being Jews during the Holocaust, which is kind of a dumb fucking statement. And she got fired for that? That and many other things. So she, but she's a Jewish person herself. I don't no, believe a Jewish person would say that, but I could be wrong. I mean, she's not Jewish. No. She got fired though. Pretty confident. So what's going on with the Asians? What so, do we know about the Asians? To be an ally to the AAPI, which is the um, Asian American Pacific Islanders. You just have to raise awareness. Like if you're in the workplace about it, you should have like conversations about it. Ask like people if they need like, a, you know, because it's a trying time right now. So people are suggesting. So do I need to go up to Asians and ask if they're okay? If they need a break. Oh, if they need a break? What does that mean? <laughs> okay, I saw this on the website. This is not me saying this, but Say that's a suggestion. Yeah, I'm supposed to cover Asians at the workplace? We're all fucking hard. Okay. I'm tired. First of all, they're going through a trying time. What are you I thought I thought old what Asians were getting through? beat up. Stress if you're... Well, we won't say that. But stress if something's coming through. It's like, you know, they're going... Okay, so go, you telling me to... I don't know that Asian people you want know. people going up to them asking if they're okay. That seems kind of patronizing. No, but like I read on the a AAPI website that like if you can offer your service of like taking over their job temporarily, like if they need help with a project because there's they have to go to protest right now. Dan, they, is this, this, this seems is a, so this outrageous. What you I went to say. on the website today. Oh my God, I'll show so you. So I'm supposed to go cover for... For Asians, so they can you go don't protest. Walk down the street and worried about getting the. Listen, I'm not. No, I'm just. Kid. I'm just wondering what I need to do to help support my Asian brothers and sisters. So stop Asian hate. Okay, read it. Since COVID nineteen, anti Asian hate crimes have increased by nineteen hundred percent in the United States. <laughs> Nearly three thousand reported anti Asian hate incidents were reported in over forty seven states and the District of Columbia. Seven point three percent of those reports counted the most vulnerable elderly Asians as the victims, and many crimes go unreported or not classified. Well, that's as hate a rage. If you're actually doing this, you are beyond sick. And you know why people are doing this? It's because all Trump and all of his conservative allies are going around saying Wuhan virus and China created it and yeah, all this. So, it's just pure fucking so racism, xenophobic do, though, bullshit. It's kind of like once the BLM movement really like made such a difference like people just need to like raise more awareness here it is from the website non-Asian American friends and colleagues can show support by checking in with AAPI peers showing they're aware of the news demonstrating their well-being asking someone and open an why I feel like there's feeling I is just, there anything I can do for you I feel like they're emotional too, burden they want community. I don't like the, there's not enough Asian I feel like they're talking on behalf of every Asian and I don't this know is them. this is the AAPI I, I, like I'm just speaking for myself I'm not Asian but like I don't want people coming up to be like are you okay how are you doing? Can I do it? It's like patronizing. I would love if That's like asked saying, me how I was doing and if I need some help. You want everybody. I do. Okay. I need some help. Okay. Well, well, you're. <laughs> I would love it if they could. You know, like if people ask me like, hey, I'll take over this assignment for today. I'd be like, thank you. Everybody's worried about you. Don't worry. Not about me because I'm like, I'm a, I'm a, like, I'm a white. Wasp. And like, there's. Wasp right. Is that, a, is that a, it is wasp. Anyways. Is that a derogatory statement? White Anglo, White Anglo-Saxon Protestant. Pretty much making is that a 
And is, raising awareness about this is the main issue we need to do. So then we're good. Health. We're doing that. You don't have to go up to a random agent on the street and be like, can I carry don't, your groceries? I would say don't do that. That's weird. But raising awareness. Also during COVID. a big platform. I just wanted to say at the top of the show. How many actually, Asians have you gone up to and asked if they're okay? Just be honest. I'm going to put it out there. If you're Asian and need my help, please email me. Because I help everybody. But specifically this week, I would like what to help gonna- the Asian American or Pacific Islanders in our United States. Specifically San Francisco and LA. There's a lot of these hate violent crimes. If you need help. If you need like... A job direction placement, anything like that, email me. Well, I can I can't believe there's actually people doing I mean, maybe we're too sheltered here in LA because people here are generally more like educated it's and less happening racist. in LA too. I never heard I didn't know people were actually well, doing this. Educated. This is shocking to this me. This is the problem. Mainstream media is not talking about Well, what this. can this I do? You can't fix Raise fucking awareness. you so can't people fix know that dumb. This is an issue. Look out for these kinds of I agree. Like, I, if too. I saw it on the street, I would I would do a fl- I would I would sacri- I would mm, boy. You don't want to come up against angry. Ethan. I don't think you're gonna be able to fight against anybody. I would do anything. Them. I would do you're anything not step for them. In the of it, I would do anything for the Asians. I just hashtag stop the Asian. Do some research. <laughs> raise awareness in the workplace. Just say how important. Is it this is real? Is people are? I mean, this is it's horrific. It's so right sad. Now. It's so sad. It's so. F- it's just so no, messed up. No, people are up. dying, and they're not being classified as hate crimes. That's what's so annoying. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, it should be classified as a hate crime. Yeah, they're just like saying, like, oh, this person just died on the street, like casually, oh, when they got this shit oh, beat well, out of them. Well, when people commit a hate crime, the punishment is more severe. So they are definitely hate crimes. That's what I'm saying. Like, and no one's getting. People aren't getting punished for these things. Like, it's insane. Like, mm, it just needs to be. We don't talked like about that. More. It's 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 it was trending on TikTok, but I do think it should be trending everywhere. We did else good. In the world. We're trending it. Okay. So what is it called? <laughs> so, so it's save the Asians. Hashtag, hashtag stop the Asian oh, hate. Oh, okay. I was thinking save the whales. Why were you thinking that? Because you're looking at me. Oh, my God. You literally were like, I was thinking save the whales. No. <laughs> it's just save the... I wasn't trying to call you, you know. Well, would you be so mad if people were trying to save you? You said you want people checking in on you. I'm not an actual whale. Okay, save Trisha Bates. We have so much to cover hashtag. this episode, too, because I... Okay, wait, let me tell you. Let me just say, slow down. I just want to like get that. Hold on, hold on, hold sponsor. on. That's our sponsor today. What's our sponsor? Save the Asians. Stop the Asian oh. Asian hate. Stop the Asian hate. <laughs> what? Stop the Asians. Asian. Stop the Asians. <laughs> I'm okay, an ally. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm wait. an ally. We yeah. support that okay, movement. Right. Today we are doing the physical test that everybody was super excited about. Myself too. We're going to see if anybody, first of all, can do a pull up. We're seeing Easy. anybody can do push-ups. We're having a running competition. We're having a jump rope competition. I trained. A basketball. Did you? I trained. I knew you did. I, I didn't. Did. I swear I didn't train. <laughs> I didn't train because I wanted to go on raw. Yeah, same. Because I'm actually going to start training. We have our workout equipment coming this week. So I'm actually going to start training. So I wanted to see how good I was pre-training. So maybe in a month we'll go back and... Oh, you want to do a recheck in Yeah, recheck hmm, That's interesting. <laughs> so stay tuned. We're just going to chit-chat a little bit. Then we're going to head out to the... Uh, Hit the irons. Also, the mmm challenge is from frenemies. I'm saying that right here. Somebody tried to debate that it wasn't. Oh, it is. I don't. So wait, there's. I was on Xanax during those episodes, and I was like, "Mm," "Mmm," because I don't remember doing that. Because you know what? The so you still do it though. If you see me in the street, I will do video shoutouts for your friends, whatever. Don't ask me to go "Mm," because I don't do that anymore. Like that was a Xanax moment. No, you still do it. Definitely. I literally hear you do it every episode, and I just don't say anything because it's like I don't want to beat the dead horse. But you literally "Mm," everything. Not the people love it. No, it was a different time. So do you want you just did you literally just did it? You want it was a different time. <laughs> you literally just did it. Can we have the credit for that on TikTok? How come no one's tagging us in it? It should be hashtag front of me's every time someone doesn't instead of the mm oh. challenge, it should be the front of me's challenge. I mean I'm complimented that you're fine with it. That we've broken into popular media in that way. I didn't tell you we stopped at McDonald's on our break on the way over here and got you chicken somehow sandwich. beat me. You got a chicken sandwich. <laughs> they had a new one out today and I was so excited. Sorry. We should have brought... I thought you guys were going to stop too. Otherwise, I would have brought you food. I'm sorry. Well, I can't eat bread. I'm on the keto. I know. I would have brought damn food because I, I was like, shit. Because he texts us, you guys aren't here. I was like, fuck, they didn't stop? I thought you guys were all stopping for food at your own leisure. So, sorry. My bad. Oh, it's fine. You don't have to worry about us. No, that's like so rude. And I, I love the Coke there. Coke has... Uh, McDonald's has better Coke. You know why? They pay extra for machines to get the balance between the syrup. It's the perfect blend. Oh. At McDonald's. So, the Coke is so good. I couldn't leave it in the car. I was trying to like hide it. And it's that diet? This is diet. I love okay, diet. Okay, okay. I just want to make sure. Coca-Cola. I also brought like snacks, so if you want. Oh, Trisha, that is not diet food. <laughs> Yo, bro, it matches you. It looks like you. <laughs> it's a snowball, but I brought you a keto snack. These are what I was telling you about. Oh no way! Oh my god, Those peach are ring. Grams of wait, sugar. wait. Well, this is keto. not a keto candy. Trisha, <sighs> what? You don't have to eat the whole thing. 
Trisha, this has carbs and a shitload of sugar. No, it says no sugar. It's fruit. What do you mean? It's peach rings. It's, it's fruit. It's sugar. It's no sugar. Keto is no Kick sugar. sugar. Kick sugar. It, 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 this is not keto. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Okay, well, you want a cupcake? But just so you know. You want a snowball? This is, how is, this is not keto. Is it keto. the same sugar? Okay. I thought eating was our thing. This right, ain't in any diet. It. I'll just put Are it there. Are you sure you don't want those? Any, okay. This is not any diet. And neither is this. This is just fruit. It's just, I can't eat fruit on keto. I also brought. Do you see how many carbs are in it? For our workout today, pink Gatorade. <laughs> and a pink monster. Oh my God, you're going to be. You're gonna be gaining a lot of weight during this I need workout. gains. I need Girl, gains. you are eating a hostess cupcake. That's energy. It's called That's energy. like straight out of the meme hole I'm right there. I'm sharing it with you, but okay, whatever. <laughs> I guess you're done being fat. Well, I'm trying. Congrats. Honestly, congrats. I well, hold on. I, I, I lost a pound and a half, so you guys That's know. That's amazing, honestly. Because I've been doing keto for about four days and exercising. Mm -hmm. Trying to exercise every night. Not a lot, but you know, like 20 minutes on the Peloton. Mm-hmm. Just a little something. That's are, good. Are you going to eat that? Go <laughs> for it. i quietly, okay. No, go for it. I'm just so hungry. I only had a chicken sandwich, no fries. <sighs> I wanted the fries so bad. I'm hungry, dude. Okay. Anyway, the keto is just like basically all protein, so... Let me, let me witness this. Jesus Christ. So when are you... Are you... I, I don't, I'm not going to keep bringing up that you need to die. Or not that you need to, but that I thought we were going to do it together. <laughs> when did we ever agree to that? Well, I told I thought you, it'd be fun. You start losing weight, so I feel so embarrassed to sit next to you that I have to start losing weight too. Okay. Until they can tell the difference between our sizes and I start getting bigger than you. Do you think we should have some kind of weight loss competition? Because that would be fun. That would be maybe motivating even. I think that's going to be worse for me. I'm going to sabotage myself. Because, yeah, once you get left behind or something, then it gets really I'm uncomfortable. I'm surprised to lose weight than girls. So who? Hmm? So who? Statistics. What statistics? The ones where you're... Anyways. Should we get into the topics? Because we have a lot. We have so much woke things to talk okay. about. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So first of all, I know we've talked about David Dobrik a lot, but I just have proof, okay, proof that he watches our podcast. Mm. Proof that he watches you our didn't podcast. Tell me about this. You well, this information from me? Well, here, well, I'm going to show it to you now. I want your reaction. So here it is. Can you see that? Horse semen can cost up to four point seven million dollars. Okay, so we oh, had a actually. Ben Shapiro uh, uh, impersonator call in, mm -hmm. and he made this joke. Oh, sorry, cat's out of the bag. I don't even know who that is. Okay, well, anyway, he made a joke about how horse semen is the most expensive liquid on the planet. Mm -hmm. And so now watch. Horse semen can cost up to four point seven million dollars. It is actually wow. the most expensive liquid you can buy. It's one, Six one of the days most expensive later. liquids in the world. This is fucking amazing. Is horse semen? Well, you probably already know about this, Jay. Um, <laughs> I know a lot about semen. <laughs> but a gallon of horse semen can go for four point seven million dollars. Horse semen. Excuse me. Wait, is this like a can new cost article up to four point seven million dollars? Popular? No, we just wrote that joke. You wrote the joke for the Ben Shapiro impersonator. It wasn't on news or anything. Like you could Google. No. It. Yeah, we wrote the joke. We. I'm not gonna take credit. So it's not for even it. real. It's not a real fact. It is a real fact. Okay. But, but he like did it there. six days later. How are you? You can't let this is fact. No, he's obsessed with people talking about him. They always gossip in the group. Oh, this person said this. He knows everything. He just doesn't have to acknowledge it because he's. How'd you upload a video five hours ago? <laughs> you just uploaded oh, a video five hours ago. My butter noodles. So, anyway, proof that David Dobrik is watching. So, hi, David. Time to apologize to Seth, fucker. Yeah. Yes, horse semen is very expensive. Yeah. By the Where'd way. Where'd you learn that? Did you know that horse semen is the most expensive liquid on the planet? Why? Glue? Well, because good horses, good stallions have like glue. good ass rating. Glue? What the fuck kind of glue do you buy? Horses make the What glue. kind of fucking glue do you buy for $5 million? Our glue is made from horses. Horse? The fuck does that have to do with horse semen? I don't know if that's the part that's making the glue. They breed racing horses, like like prize horses. Mm. So if you have like Buttercup, who's like won all the, hor the horse races, then his jizz is worth like tons of money, bro. Jizz. That's crazy. Golden yeah. jizz, bruh. David Obrick, all you, you know what? All you gotta just like even privately apologize to Seth. Like, don't ignore his phone calls. Like, just maybe talk to him and be like, that was messed up. Like, also, you like just just acknowledge it. Like, it's just not that hard. Like, it's insane. It's so insane. And for all the people saying, like, oh, she's weaponizing like Seth, I'm not. It's called raising awareness. Cause like, imagine if that was a girl. Imagine if that was anyone else. Imagine if you did that. 
to a girl or something like that and like you force your kiss on somebody else and force your mouth on somebody else like that would be like you literally go to jail and he doesn't even do no i mean it. i i can't Same. believe that no i still can't believe that nobody's picking this up no news outlets all these fucking like variety and insider and all these bullshit they write about any insider stupid is th- picking it up did you they tweeted me they're like you said no one was taking the david dober case seriously we are email us for details and they good. emailed me they didn't publish it yet i don't think so but i think they're like good because it's like yeah, they it's- write about the dumbest fucking shit they'll write about david dobrik's new house is amazing all this dumb shit right but like they won't actually write about anything real about this story philip defranco I love you, Philip, but um, you got to put me in another thumbnail because you're a fucking coward for not talking about this. And you too. Keemstar, Keemstar, I think Keemstar's not covering just because he doesn't want to give us props. No, they're just like, I don't know. They're like, I think Keemstar, Keemstar doesn't want to say it. There was an inter- Ethan conducted an interview with Seth that would fucking sear his heart. I don't want to be ashes. this person, but like, it is a white male club, right? Like, it's like Philip DeFranco, Keemstar, David. Like, they're all in this like club. They're all like, so like, if this was again anyone else, like, if it was. I don't think it's that. I think no, it's it just totally has to do is. with they don't want to go against the grain. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's nothing just, to do with like being. It's privilege for sure. It has for sure. They just, 100%. they don't want to deal with the backlash of cut, of doing a negative story about David. That's all. It's so gross to me. You know what? But like I've learned from anything, especially with people that have like, I've been in a, abusive and like essay and all that stuff like that is like, it comes back around eventually. Like, you know, look at Bill Cosby. It took him like 60 years to get justice served, but it does happen. And well, I don't think. Uh, by the way, back up, back up. He's not like a. As I'm far as we know, he's not. He's, yeah, I mean. But what he did. He's is not serious. like a serial. Like, no, it's really traumatizing what he did, though. I mean, I'm. Not I agree. Stuff, but I've been in a sim- similar situation. Where I'm just she, saying, I, like tone it like, down unwanted, a little bit. No, where like unwanted advances towards me made me feel some type of way for years that I didn't know that even happened. So he had now dealing with all the internet thinking he's oh, a cloud Seth, chaser. Seth definitely you know. endured a lot of. Sh- okay, yeah. so the the very basic minimum, and this helps anyone that's been through something like acknowledgement and apology goes so long even yeah. if it's a bullshit fake whatever like just acknowledging that like you did something wrong and you apologize like that's insane that he can't do that to me like the very bare minimum you can do Wait, him, you're like him do it to you da- no david to, to um, Seth. Seth. Yeah. yeah no i totally agree it's, it's like it's, it's so insane yeah, this person is saying like and now he has all these people calling him a liar and then he went along with it. Oh, we can prove this. Like it's just it's so it's so disgusting to have to go through all that. I was curious. I just went to drama alert to see if he had made a david dobrik uh video mm. and to my surprise it, it was like second most recent video says david dobrik in the title so i clicked on it and all the comments are like you're going to talk about david's bed but not david <gasps> getting canceled LMAO. Yeah. if it was anyone other than ethan that shed light on it you'd be all over it. exactly yeah. no, as i fucking not, said he not literally not did a drama alert about his fucking bed and not the fact that someone did a t- full-on interview I, I saying it was essayed twice by him like keemstar how are you going to purport to do the news just because you want to avoid like giving like mentioning that i conducted the interview you fucking ghoul no it, it's it, like he has no interest in doing the right thing and this is absolute course. proof of it and philip de Frank Go. I think Phil Durant's a good guy, but he's a coward he, no, right he's, now. He, oh, he's a coward in every. I I don't think I dislike anyone as much as I no, dislike Phil Durant. Stop. And it's you always say hatred. that. No, it's not a hatred. Okay, who who do you hate more, him or Jack's film? Jack's films. <laughs> of course. Yeah. You see. Easy. <laughs> Sorry, you're right. Exactly. Can't, that's I what can't I thought. With him. Oh, that tweet was good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Philip DeFranco, come on. How is, how, if, that's the thing. Everybody wrote about David's bed. It's like, okay, cool. He bought a fucking big bed. Who the <laughs> fuck cares? It's, 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 it's the most insane thing I've ever seen. I David has a it. drinking fountain that spits out Kool Aid. What? Cool. That's awesome. Good luck cleaning that. You think that's going to have mold on? Nobody's going to use that after a fucking day. It's disgusting. Regardless, no mention <laughs> of the. First hand account on video of someone getting essayed twice by him for profit and then him refusing to pay them. No mention of that, but he's got a big bed. It's so gross to me. It's so, it's so gross. And I don't know. I, 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 it's, it's like, it's like screaming into like literally like a pillow, right? Like I was watching the, um, Woody Allen docuseries last night. Oh, was it good? I want to watch it. And Yeah, but it, again, not to compare the two to extreme, but like his daughter said this in 94, in 2004, yeah, and, and I, nothing happened. And she goes, during the Me Too, people, Scarlett Johansson was still working with her down. All these people are still working Yeah, he's working still with working. Him. Could you imagine? Yeah. Not no, now. He has, he has a film right now on he's production old. in Europe, a huge budget. It was I like, mean, he made a huge, he made a movie with Larry David. Like, in 2009, Scoop. Yeah. It was a huge movie. Like, no, nah, he's still working, bro. Oh, people like, yeah. no, he may be, no, I was just reading about it. He, he can't get distribution in the United States anymore. I think Scoop now. Came out. Scoop came out, look up the year. 
year. It came out in 2009. Like, that was a huge movie. I mean, he's old as fuck. How old is he? He's got to be 85. barely hanging on at this point. I think it's at 85. I'm pretty sure I read that. Yeah, that story. I'm going to watch that documentary. Oh, my really God. Interested. It's a four-part docuseries. It's on HBO. Like, but let's just be honest. I'm not saying David Dobrik's a serial I'm fucking... I'm not either, but he's done enough stuff but, to like, people that, like... He owes some acknowledgement of what's going on here. He definitely owes that. I feel I like agree. I'm getting a first-hand account of how hard it is to come out as... A, like, even in today's, like, super woke Me Too bullshit, like, in even with us amplifying it as much as possible, the fact that I feel we feel like we're talking into an empty void, like, is is absolutely... Is, is so fucking, it's like, uh, maddening. And it's... So, again, I'm not comparing it, but I just related so much when, when Mia Farrow, when she, when she talked about the story, they labeled it as... Oh, she's a bitter ex-wife because he like married her daughter. I was like, she's proof, bitter, yeah, because her 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 daughter got abused and then the other one did too at at like ten and molested, like sexually abused. Like it's it's documented. There's footage and this new one. It's on HBO. This new series that is out, the four part well, series. They I mean, have footage of this. Like it's like you, it's not even just like believing what people are saying. There's like footage of well, him I mean, being inappropriate he, with her. He he adopted this girl at what age? She had adopted Suni with her ex husband Andre Privy or whatever. So when did he? When did this girl enter his life? Like nine, and there's okay. like video footage. So of Woody it. Allen raised this girl from nine years old and then married her at like sixteen. Right. I mean, case closed. But aside from that, her other adopted daughter, um, Dylan Farrow, was getting molested for years by Woody Allen before Suni. Right. That's what they all said, and they're like, "Ah, eh, who cares? He, he's and, funny." Or I guess after, yeah. Right. I mean, yeah, but he's pretty funny though. Yeah, shit's it's, different. I mean, Bill, people knew about Bill Cosby for a long fucking time, too. I mean, and she said the same thing. She was, it was like screaming, like, I don't know what her analogy was, but it's the same thing of like, no one cared during the Me Too, like Harvey Weinstein was getting, but like, what Woody Allen did was like, it's like their children. Like, it's insane. Like, it's so, how is it Again, not Again, not to say it's the same thing, because it's not, no, but like, not. when I was doing that interview with uh, Seth, I was like, this is, cr what I'm hearing is insane. And, pe and people are, I was like, David's definitely going to have to respond to this. And yeah, then, no. fast forward two weeks later, nobody gives a fuck. Okay, whatever. We, we can talk so about David. It's so frustrating. No, because you know when I hear, I hate on TikTok to being like, oh, Trisha's just mad and bitter. This has nothing to do with me. Like, I would stick up for anyone. I'm sticking up for Dylan Farrow. I'm sticking up for, the, you know, stop Asian hate. Like, I'd stick up for anyone. Well, it's like, it's like, I, well, when I made a, because I made a TikTok where he was like, just business as usual, whatever. And I was like, wow, I can't believe nobody's. That was crazy. Well, I know. Well, but, I was, but a lot of the comments were like, oh, whatever, dude, fuck you. You're just fucking, you're a hater or you make videos for Trisha, so you can't say anything, <laughs> stuff like that. But it's like, no, it's just not all of his fans like, don't want to it's, address the issue that right. he did these things. No, it's like, you all want to talk about well, this and that. bad, so let's just ignore an actual, like an actual, like awful thing that's like really traumatizing. But, yeah, but also the comparisons it's, is it's moronic. Just, First of all, you've acknowledged <laughs> all the things you've done wrong. That's been on and camera. Second I've done something never, to somebody. Exactly. If I did, if I did that but regardless, else, this conversation is like the point because we're not even talking about you. We're talking about David. You want to talk I about know. Trisha? We can do that. And plus, trust me, we've done plenty of that. <laughs> and I call out Trisha every time, every chance I get, I the opportunity. To. I know what I'm like a um, problematic mess, and this is so different than me. And this is so above me and beyond my issues. So it's just like I'm just showing support because he just doesn't have as much. And I'm glad that you did the interview, and I wasn't even involved in that. That was the H3 podcast, and I was so happy to see. Well, you Well, they do it they and, reached out to me, and I thought his story was interesting. Yeah. But anyway, okay, whatever. Let's move on. Okay, Fashion Nova, you got any money from them yet? Because I'm going to talk about them right now. I have haven't gotten paid, but I do have a deal. I have a test run with them. <laughs> Bless you. Which I did say Christ. in the contract. You cannot say how much. So I can't tell you. But it's, it's, a, it's okay. Test run? There. Where's my fucking passion over? Well, it's for TikTok. I'm killing it on TikTok. Well, the fashion of sucks. I hate them. I love them. Their clothes suck. They Rips. go they go for curvy girls up to five X third size. I wanted to ask you about this TikTok I saw about Fashion Nova. I, I didn't see this. Oh, I why couldn't did see Fashion it. Nova post this? They posted this, this is photo. So I mean, it makes <laughs> my brain hurt. I'm saying, do not um, shop at Fashion Nova. I'm saying, why? You're on the show. Why? Do not shop at Fashion Nova. Uh, yeah, it's Fashion bullshit. Nova it's fast fashion. They make it in it's China. Affordable. It's disposable. If you can't afford uh, religion, hundred dollars. Fa jeans. Fast fashion is literally the most polluting, one of the biggest polluters not in the whole planet. Not everyone can afford seventy dollars jeans. Fashion Nova offers them for twelve dollars. Just buy one instead Up of to size twenty. Bro, you know when you're buying jeans for twelve dollars, that somebody's it, dying. You think everybody can afford to buy seventy dollars jeans? They're not dying. You don't know this. Bro, you haven't been in their factories. I've been in their factories in downtown LA, actually. Fashion Nova is not made in downtown LA. I've been to the, the factory. Uh, Fashion Nova is I, not made in downtown LA. Six years ago. Sorry, I you don't it. sell fucking twelve dollar jeans for for and that's made in America. <laughs> Trust me, that shit is made by children slaves in China. Don't sue me, please. Peace and love. Stop the Asian hate. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. 
Stop the Asian you hate. Stop the Asian hate. They're the ones fucking having little kids' fingers bleeding all over twelve dollar jeans, blood jeans, like blood diamonds, blood jeans. I'm just trying to make it clear that they do not sponsor me. Isn't that an Adam Sandler movie, Blood Diamonds? That was a Leo movie. Oh, yeah. Wasn't but, there one where he was a jeweler? Oh, that was yeah, Uncut Gems. Have we seen that one? I don't think they we weren't know. blood gems though. But it's about blood diamonds, right? No. Oh, really? No, that's not true. Yikes. Dan over here. <laughs> the hot takes. You think my diamond's a blood diamond? I don't know. Moses, you tell me. Yeah, his blood and sweat and tears don't work. Yeah. I know. I feel so bad. Um, whatever. It's okay. What do you feel bad about? It was his renovation money for his building. Ah, whatever. He doesn't care. He's got a brand new house. That's fuck, true. Fuck his old building. Look at him. He's so happy. Look at that smile on his face. Aww. You better put a ring on it. He's, if you like it, then you better put a ring on it. Because yeah. this was like my dream ring. I showed him inspiration for it. And he's like, well, he goes, I just wanted you to be like proud God. of your ring and show it off. You know? Exactly. He knew he had to get something outrageous to make you happy. Could you imagine if I had like, no offense, but if it was like a one carat for me, because I have a big fat finger, it would have looked like crazy. You, like the it. marriage wouldn't work. I would have to have bought my own. The marriage would not work if he gave you a one carat diamond. I'll tell you right now. Mm. Be like, he's broke. Fuck him. I don't care. I would love to know how much that costs. Off camera. Oh, you'll tell me off camera? Hell yeah. <laughs> you know how much it costs? Yeah. Yeah. Because I had to get like, we have to get Six figures on. at least, right? He, yeah, I don't know. Don't yeah. say anything. I mean, I, it's got to be at least six figures. I mean, okay. I just know how much a diamond like that costs. All right. My guess is that <laughs> so I'm just gonna guess. <laughs> no. I, I don't know how much it cost. So I awkward. can't guess. It's such an awkward conversation. Really? Yeah. It's great. Okay, let's move on fashion. Okay, okay, I won't talk about it then if it makes you uncomfortable. But it's like two fifty, probably three hundred. Oh my god! Don't talk about it. <laughs> I'm just guessing. I don't have any inside info. So what do you make of this? Fashion Nova posted this girl. Do you think this is realistic uh, body goals? I don't have the audio. Oh. Turn it down because Oh, music. Oh, there was. Um. She was like, what is this? Why did they post this? What? Um, why did Fashion Nova post this? Wait, why? You don't see anything wrong with that girl's body? I'm, that's what everyone looks like on Instagram. Bruh. Wait, what's wrong with it? I'm so confused. She's like heavier? No, her body... Okay, let me open the uh, direct... Not that she's heavy at all, but I don't... No, she's not issue. heavy. Her oh. body looks like fucking freak... Like, that is not a real body. You get lipo like that in Columbia. Nah. Yeah. Look at her ass. What the fuck is that? There's no way that's real. Her ass is like the size of she's built like Elastigirl. Or what's the mom's name? Yeah, Elastigirl. <laughs> On what? Incredibles. Incredibles. Never seen it. She's built like a Pixar People mom. People can get lipo and Bro, her animals. ass is the size of her body and head combined. You think that's real? It's just like and look how small her waist is. That is totally like people do get those bodies. Okay, her face isn't real. Her I mean, she has like worked on everywhere, but it doesn't mean it's not a real person. And of course, she probably put bro. in her waist a little bit. Like, bro, 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 bro. you not, cannot. You you're cannot. so crazy. Why are you? This is like the hell you're gonna this die. This is not on. a healthy like, uh, image video. to project out to the world. But why do you even care? That's what everyone looks like on Instagram. I just because I just want to shit on Fashion Nova because I know we have like tension. They're getting such a shout out. You're so stupid. I don't think anyone's going to Fashion Nova after this. I literally purchased from them even when I'm not sponsored by them. Like all year. Okay, round. go to Fashion Nova if you want to be one of the biggest polluters and buy shit that will literally disintegrate off your body after it gets washed one time. And it's fine because it's only seven bucks for a t-shirt. Let it disintegrate. Yeah, and you, you know that it's like one of the biggest polluters. Right. Yeah. Don't breathe. Don't, don't don't walk too fast. It'll fall right off your back. I almost stand. Anyway. Uh, okay, so you, and I was just curious what you thought because I thought it was crazy, but you think it looks totally normal, which is interesting. I think... Um... And then one other thing I want to talk about before we get to the exercising, I don't know what? if you had something, but we wanted to start doing douchebag of the month. Do you like that? I mean, that's like... Is it too much? Who's the douchebag of the month? Bryce I'll Hall. You. Yes. You like it. Love it. Yeah. I I can't stand Bryce Hall. Yeah, he's unbelievable. He's like, I can't believe he's a real person. He might be the worst. I don't I thought Mike was the oh, douchebag of the day. I thought well, he, of the, well, maybe Mike will be douchebag next month. No. Well, there was another thing we were going to talk about. Oh, that he, Mike is making a like hype house <laughs> with banks. E Should be called the essay house. Like not to age shame. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, know. you know, bank is like, oh, that's like a lot of. There's not a lot of character. I mean, they're like 
40 too. Like, do we need to <laughs> right. like, you know what I mean? We're raging out here at the Eey. fucking the bank sales, bro. We got a police car on standby outside because they get called in three times a night. So they just stake out. Can you imagine like, and they're older than you. So like, imagine, like I know Mike is like, can you imagine being like 38? That's like me in like six years. And I'm like, let's start up. Let's start a fucking collab house. Like, what? Bro, can you live by yourself? You, like you live with <gasps> Logan Paul. Logan's moving to Puerto Rico. And now Mike's going to move in with banks. It's like, bro, are you scared of the dark or something? Oh, Jason was like, are you like scared roommates? to live by yourself? You fucking little boy. Yeah, Jason said that too. He lived with roommates at 44, 45. He lived with all these vlogs. That's watching. so embarrassing. Like, it's so embarrassing. And this is so embarrassing. And it just also sounds like either there's one or two. It also sounds scammy. So if they're trying to get young influencers to come live in this house, they're going to take a percentage of their money, which don't give anyone a percentage of your money. They're not going to do shit for you. Well, that's how like Team 10 always collapse because they they get big and then like, why am I paying this fucking asshole but so much true. money? But it's true. And it's Mike Maljack. It's not even Logan Paul. Like, maybe if Logan Paul had a hype house, okay, cool. But Mike Maljack doesn't have clout without Logan Paul. And FaZe Banks is not your clout. I don't even know who that is. You don't know who FaZe Banks is? No. They call him the, they call him like a, the the holy monk, right, Dan? No, what? Because he's got like a huge bald spot that he always tries to hide. He's He he founded he the looks FaZe like a friar. clan, which is a, a big uh, Oh, yeah, he's, he's FaZe. Clan. He's FaZe up, bro. I'm phased up. FaZe up? I'm phased out. FaZe up? See you in- What uh, is a FaZe? I hear them all what the time. What is a phase? There's like phase gains, phase clout, phase banks, phase. There's so many phases, right? Phase my, my personal favorite is is uh, phase date. Trigger warning. No, but what is a phase? Why are they called maybe phases? Just, maybe just bleep the, the R word, yeah. What's a it's phase? It's the name of the clan. It's a gaming clan. So my, my, like my, my favorite is phase blackout. So they're Twitchers? They're Twitchers? They're gamers. They play like COD. <laughs> I don't know what that is either. Like, my favorite is uh, get a job. Well, it is their job, they make a lot of money. I mean, yeah, no, they're they rich. do, but now they're scamming other people. They're, like, they're not in the scamming. Hat house. Just... I bet you they scam the phases. I bet if you have to be a phase, you have to pay money to the monk phase or whatever you just said. Is the, like, I feel like <laughs> the monk phase. there's a level the uh, yeah. they call he always wear a hat, and then apparently, like, the hat fell off and he's got a huge bald spot. Everyone realized he was. Well, it was so in the, the famous fry. incident. He got in a fight at a bar or something with uh, with Jake Paul's girlfriend. Oh uh, yeah, huh? so it all happened. Drama. It all happened while Jake came on our podcast here. Phrase ago. Fryer or phrase Phase Monk. <laughs> phrase Fryer is pretty good. Should... <laughs> phase Fryer. I feel like Keemstar would be in on this too. Like, yeah, he is. He's friends with Banks. Yeah. That's all. Ke Keemstar is <laughs> Keemstar is phased the fuck up. Embarrassing. Like that's so embarrassing. Yeah. I'm not age shaming, but I'm age shaming. Like you're over 35. Stop it. Oh, well, there's Just stop it. Well, you say age shaming is good when you're like yeah. 40 years old and you're yeah. hanging out with like 18 year olds. Yeah, sometimes like, it's sorry. Okay. Sometimes oh, you're starting a collab house. Stop it. Stop it. You made money. You said they're baller. Just make your money. What's like, the name be, of the day? Drug Dan, it's like it's got like three letter acronym. Phase GHP is my favorite phase member. Oh, for sure. <laughs> phase, uh, I don't know, it seems like it is. Yeah, GHP, yeah. phase GHP is my favorite member. What if you have phase at the beginning of your name and you're over 35? Like, stop it. <laughs> yeah, I Just agree. Drop it. I agree with you. Like, Keems are shit changes to, like, Daniel Keem or something. You know what I mean? Like, ugh, he's just, he's so embarrassing on so many levels. Preach, girl. They all are. Okay, let's talk about Except the, for us. We're oh, we're so mature and we have <laughs> aged well into our good. I mean, let me. Oh, I, hey, I got my hey. own fucking house. I'm not scared same, of the dark. Same. Did you think our house was bougie? Came to our house this weekend. Did you think it was bougie? Oh, yeah. We should talk about that. I went to your house. That was like some real friendship, and we didn't even TikTok it or anything. And it wasn't awkward either. Like I thought I was gonna be really awkward, and it really? was awkward. Yeah. We brought Theodore. It was. Really we had fun. fun. It was Theodore had a really fun time. He I had seven. so much fun. Yeah, he was rocking. The house is beautiful. I mean, it's it's gorgeous. I'm just I'm really happy for you guys. Well, once I get like furnished, I'll be really baller and really cool. I yeah. feel like you know, obviously, I was very skeptical of you guys' relationship like a long time ago when you first started, but I can tell you guys are really happy and really good for each other and i just i feel like it's great i saw moses in a tiktok when you were like cooking like fried chicken or something and i can tell when moses get really excited about something and i could see how excited he was about how good the <laughs> cooking was he got really excited about the chicken that mm -hmm. i made fried chicken and i thought that was sweet yeah no he hypes me up so much. yeah the house is beautiful i mean you guys i mean it's great i mean it's fantastic look at this it's, I think it's, it's amazing like we both had no friends our entire life and we're like we found a friend 
I feel like that's me and Ela too, to an extent. Yeah, yeah. I think that, but that's what I'm saying. There's like people who like love being around their friends, you know, like like the phases, right? They probably love being friend oriented, right? And then people, it's like a frat boy mentality. All those guys, for sure. And like yeah. I can't be with obviously like Jason didn't work out because he had all these friends and his friends were his priority. But like if you find someone, then there's the other people who just don't aren't super friend oriented. It's like cool to socialize once in a while, but like. If you're like each other's best friend, I'm not hanging out with like someone every day. That's too much for me. But people are like that. Where no, they I know, to, I like, know. Yeah, be friends every day. I'm like, look, if I was single, I'd probably be, you know, socializing a lot more. If I, but when I was single, I didn't. And, he, and same with Moses. We just know. I was like, what would you do if I wasn't here? Like, if you were single, and he's like, I'd just be home working at night. And I was like, same. Well, Moses has been single a long time. He's used to it. But I feel like, <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying he's this, you know. We yeah. always say that. We always say like we like we never thought we'd find someone. When, well, like when I was single, it was a long fucking time ago. I was single, like in college though. But I would mingle a lot. But that was like the vibe. I was in college. Yeah, but I feel like you were more social than us. Like we don't maybe don't talk to anyone. You want to talk about Bryce Hall being douchebag of the month, or should we save it? Yes, yes. I want because I feel like maybe we okay. should just get to the exercising. Like no, no, how long no. we've been doing? Yeah, I want to talk about Bryce Hall. <laughs> but before, real quick, can I just say real quick? I do think, and this is the last thing I'll talk about, and then we can talk about Bryce Hall because I really want to talk about Bryce Hall. <laughs> I think I'm getting gripped off with my Adam Sandler clothes. I posted a photo the other day and people noticed that my hemline was round and the one in the photo. Oh, you think you're getting this fake? Is square. Dude, people are putting up fakes literally just to scam you. And I paid seven fifty four and they're right, the hemline is really Let different. Let me show you. And I was like, I paid, I think I'm gonna be scammed. I'll send it. Oh, do you want to send it now to him? Yeah. Okay. Dude, there's like one dude putting up fake Adam Sandler clothes and making bank off you. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. Okay, I'm sending this to you. Okay, so so here's what you bought. Uh-huh. Now, you're saying that you don't think this is the same shirt. I thought it was. Every single comment came from me and said, you're getting ripped off, girl. That's a different hemline. Hmm. So the bottom of that, sh my shirt goes rounded. Now swipe over. And his is straight across. Hmm. Could it be from a different scene, maybe? But that's true. Yours is totally not straight. And the other thing is, those pants fit me to a T. I showed the waist and everything. They fit me so good. And everyone's saying Adam Sandler is very tall and lanky. He's not tall. That's what I didn't think. But this, how much he's not, is you're, he's taller than you, though. And they fit perf. That, well, that, mmm. Doesn't look like the same shirt. I'm so scared. But it just, could be that. I mean, it could be that. Well, how do you know? Is there any authentication? Like, how do you know that this they is. They give you like a wardrobe tag and then they give you like where it's from and stuff. Like, what? What is a wardrobe tag? The wardrobe tag that says like Sandler and then it has like. I mean, because anyone could just write Sandler on a tag. But. Yeah. Is there any. Do you have any proof this actually belonged to him? It smells a little bit. Mm, that's not proof. <laughs> I did order, I spent $4,000 on the Happy Gilmore jacket. The gold one he wears at the end, that's coming this week. And I spent $4,000 on this jacket. That's the most. This was only $750, so I was like, hey, whatever. But I spent $4,000. You, you think you have a problem spending money? Well, not, no. But no. I think I'm worried that I got ripped off with a Happy Gilmore jacket. I just spent $4,000. And even most of them, maybe don't spend $4,000 on that jacket. Are you going to open like an Adam Sandler wardrobe museum? Like, you know, when you go to like Hard Rock Cafe, they have like outfits with glass you should do something with it because what are you gonna do just put it in the laundry i mean you can't do that i just like to wear it for real what i bet adam thinks that's so weird oh i was just saying this to moses so there's a girl and i don't but she she's like she does so many tiktoks on me i'm like girl okay like give it a rest but uh, nice but i love her i don't want anything but i'm sure that's what he thinks he's probably like stop if he knew there was some <laughs> weird girl just buying all of his shit and wearing it it's the wearing it i think that would creep him out like have it be a fan <laughs> of the film be a fan put it up frame it whatever but the fact that you're wearing it I think is unsettling. I just like that he has a. But it's funny also. I, but it's not even about that. Like I honestly like wearing it because I feel like some of his energy is coming into me. When are I wear you it. just trying to be funny? Because I do think it's funny. No, actually, not at all. Actually, not funny at all. I am so inspired by him because he puts so many Jewish things throughout his movies. Stop. No, That's he why? does. What? Does that, he not mention what Judaism kind of, every wait, movie? Why is that a reason to admire he him? Says his kids I thought you were going to say he's school. funny, he's a good writer. No, he puts Jewish references Name in his films. Name another Jewish person that puts so many Jew references in all every single every single movie. He okay. makes a Jewish yeah, reference. Okay, well, let's cancel Woody Allen. We're an anti Woody listen, Allen podcast. Listen, I, I it, <laughs> listen. It's fine. It's fine that you <laughs> like him for that reason. It's just not what I expected. <laughs> He he takes his kids to his daughter's I, to Hebrew school. I, I, that's fine. It's just not what I expected you to be praying. Let's ask me. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's yeah, bo, hair, bo, hair. 
That's crazy, bro. So you're a fan because he sends his kids to Hebrew school? That just seems weird, bro. He's so proud to be Jewish. His wife converted for him. That means he's a hardcore Jew if he has his wife convert. I respect it. He's funny. He's successful. I want to be on that level of Adam Sandler and Netflix. Like, I don't, I want to just be him. And I think his energy radiates through the clothes. And I don't try to be funny because it's not funny. Who thinks it's, no one's like being like, this is amazing, Trisha. You're so brilliant at buying Adam Sandler's clothes. Why? I think that's why people like it. No, but his body type it's is just, very similar. No, it's funny that you're willing to spend so much money for something so trivial. That's what's funny. You get Adam Sandler's clothes and then you wear it. And it's like, why did you spend $2,000 on this shirt? Just the where it's it's hilarious. No. You don't see that. I don't see the the comedic part of it. I do think it's it's cool. Like I think it's cool. I don't know if it's like ha ha. You're so like, I'm sure Adam Sandler's like. Stop. I don't believe you. That's hilarious. You know that's funny. You I don't understand you. You think, think that's you're doing that because it's funny. I think it's impressive. Like when people come to multiple shows, I think that's impressive. I'm like, whoa, that's impressive. You've come to multiple tour stops. Like that's cool. I'm gonna hire someone. This kid who is Daniel. Well, shout out Daniel Press. He's come to all every single one of my shows. Next tour, I'm gonna hire him to come, like, be my assistant on tour. Like, I don't understand what you're talking about. We're talking so, about Adam Sandler's clothes, and you're talking about. But he should see that I have like persistence, right? Oh, you think Adam's gonna notice you? No, no, no. I want to go. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I don't want to say it. Something embarrassing did happen with Adam Sandler. But I can't say it because it has to do with like his like local. Location, but I mentioned something on the show, and it's something that, like, I don't know if I can say. Say it, and then we'll edit maybe, it out. Maybe later. edit it out. But when I was talking about a certain synagogue, everyone's like, oh, Adam Sandler goes, and I swear I didn't know. And I felt really creepy oh, because I didn't want to. You wanna... did. No, I swear. Go ahead. You don't have to say the synagogue name, but what happened? No. So I mentioned something on the show once, and I don't even know if it's true, but everyone's like, oh, she's doing that because, and I swear I didn't. Because I don't want to be creepy. Like, I love being a fan. I There's love nothing being creepy about fan. buying all this wardrobes and wearing them. You don't think so? And trying to smell I it. smell no, my nothing. clothes on Poshmark. I think it's fine. Right, for real. You're not being stupid. No, it's not creepy and weird at all to buy his clothes for thousands of dollars and smell it and wear it. That's why I always also show Moses because the other thing is people think I'm like trying to like get with him and I'm like, no, like I have a fiance. So Moses is in all my Adam Sandler videos so he knows like, hey, I have a fiance who's Israeli because he did the Zohan movie about Israelis. Mm -hmm. You know, he did. So I was just like, hey, there's a fiance. I'm not trying to get with you because everyone just automatically assumes I want to sleep with everybody. That's not the case. You're 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 monogamous. You're in a happy relationship. I just uh, think you want to smell it. Can fit. Adam Sandler buy this diamond? Probably. Easily. <laughs> Easily he could. Yeah, but, but what would he? Is? Probably not. Yeah. We don't know. He's the, he's he's Jewish. You know, All right, you're let's talk about Bryce Jewish. Hall. Actually, he's full Jewish. So are how Anyways. many? So how many Adam Sandler outfits is enough? When it, when do you have enough? Well, they're running out of them. So, hey, oh, can I make a So now, but what's funny is they're buying all of them and now people are making fake ones and scamming you and making thousands of dollars literally just to, they put it up just <laughs> knowing that you're going to buy it. That's awesome. In fact, I think we should try <laughs> to <laughs> secretly <laughs> scam Trisha. Oh, it's not, it's not hard. I would like, if something goes up on Adam. Well, Sam wouldn't that be eBay? awesome if I came and was like, does this look familiar? I sold it to you for a thousand dollars. I do get scammed sometimes. I bought an Adam Sandler outfit that he never even wore. It was from Jack and Jill. We watched the whole movie. He didn't wear it once. It was a yarmulke and an applesauce shirt, and he never once wore it. So why would you buy something that you does not even hold any reverence in your heart? Like you haven't seen them in the film. I thought I saw that one because I love Jack and Jill for real. And Dude, I was people like, are really out here scamming you. Like I, people are just making money off you, girl. You guys, if you guys want any money making ideas. <laughs> Go put Adam Sandler clothes on if, sale. If anyone has Adam Sandler's outfits, I'll buy them. But from how you. can they certify it? I don't know. Exactly. I don't want to creep him out. It's too late. But you said it's not creepy. I was being sarcastic. Someone's like, oh, she's trying to get Adam Sandler in front of me. So I'm like, I'm, I don't think he's going to come on here. Oh, he will. Really? Yeah, easy. Because you're Jewish? Yeah. Say something in Hebrew to him. Adam. No, in Hebrew. Ani Rosa. I did. I just said his name. Adam Sandler. Adam, Bavakasha, Anachnu be Anachnu Orim, Anachnu be bite, be making the video. Uh, okay. Anachnu Olech Shwarma. Aim Tihi Yashali. Adam Sandler, Aim Tihi Tihi Yashali. Is that romantic? It's not romantic, right? Oh, okay. I don't mean it romantically. I don't know Hebrew that well. That's why I say it to my fiance who's who's Jewish and from Israel. You want to talk about Bryce Hall? You want to talk about Adam Sandler for no, all the whole episode? No, but I love episode. flexing that he's an Israeli Jewish person. That's not a flex. I mean, it's, it's just not. a it's just a fact of his you character. You know how many Jewish people are like so enthralled with Israeli Jewish people? They're like, wow, you're from the land. It's very cool. Bro, you got issues. <laughs> but that's fine. That's why we love you. Oh, 
about me. Okay, let's talk about Bryce Hall. This little scumbag. Don't want his clothes. Don't get me anywhere near his clothes. All right. I wouldn't pay. So Bryce Hall is someone who got famous on TikTok. And he's like Jake Paul was back in the day, I feel like. You know what I mean? That's I, think the best. He's wor- I think he's worse. Because he's like. He's such a little douche. Yeah. He's the douche of the month. Yeah, let's watch this. Okay. Here. Is this a real thing? Or you just, like, like, no, this is Deuce of the Month. We'll do it every month. Don't oh, shut the fuck up. Don't tell me what the fuck to do. You have a hickey on your neck as we're calling you a whore. Like, shut up. Hickey you? on your neck and then say, don't fucking slut shame me. I'm not a slut. You don't know my life. I'm 20 years old. As her tits are popping out and everything. Uh, if you don't want to get slut shamed, don't post from pictures of your can't get and pin them as your Twitter header. The fuck I want. Just like you can go around I know what the context of this is, but it's definitely small dick energy. Tiny PP energy, bro. For sure. Small dick energy. Also, he's like 5'5", five, five, I think, so yeah. his dick is probably really oh, small. Oh, for sure. Little man complex, for sure. Nothing wrong with short guys if you have a... Podcast. You know, okay, I'm going to take you. You have no point. You're- As you guys have yep. seen, like, videos or maybe heard from, like, Lush and Daniel, like, Brendan Taylor, like, every other... Okay, so this is the other story. He me. peed off a balcony onto his fans, like, I'm sorry. Where? At Playlist Live. So and he, he, like, loved... They loved it or what? Playlist right. Live. Their their main He's insult trash. was, at least I don't pee off of Playlist balconies or something. I'm going to explain the night right now really quick. I'm going to set it up Bryce, a little you bit. Fucking it was like douche. 4 a.m., you know, I drink some apple juice and I... I don't know. This Dude, how is there so many like, cuts? Go- like, I've he's already cut his video like a hundred times. He can't speak. He can't speak a full. Can sentence. he just like, literally, literally talk for five seconds no, without but cutting? Can't him and Noah I drank a bunch of apple juice, and then I, I can only imagine what happens in between those cuts where it's like, <sighs> oh, and I was at playlist live. I don't wish this on him, but guaranteed he'll end up in prison in the next five years for sure. You think so? That prison, bad? not just jail prison, for sure. I know kids mm. like this that I went to school with. They're uh, like uneducated dumbasses, but he gets some money, whatever. He'll be in prison for sure. And I don't say that about any other influencer. I can't imagine any other influencer being in prison. He for sure will be in five mm. years. What's the above under on that? Hundred best. Hundred to zero. <laughs> in a sense, and, and people were were daring me, like the people that I was with, bad influences, by the way. They were daring me to to pee off the balcony, and you know when oh, you so drink did it. a lot of apple so juice. So what? What are you, you got to pee? Like, oh, is that like a euphemism for beer? Know? I think. He's saying I was drinking alcohol. Wait, <laughs> Probably because he's not 21. <coughs> so he's saying uh, I was drinking apple juice. It's like, okay, how much apple juice are you drinking? You're so cool. Dude, you were drinking beer <laughs> and people dared you to peel off the balcony? I think I might hate Bryce Hall more than Jack's films. Oh. Yeah, you that's me fantastic. We love that. The new enemy. I, yeah, I have a dislike for him. His videos, I hate. I hate his videos. Not oh my bad. god, we're not here to shit on Jack's film. Let's okay. stick to the fucking pink douche. Side the is enemy number one is now Bryce Hall for the pink side. Who's enemy number one on the black side? Hmm. Enemy number one. I would say David Dobrik. Okay, I changed my pink side to David Dobrik too. Yeah. Okay. Because. Okay. Well, let's finish watching the case about Bryce Hall. Maybe he'll be the new enemy number one. Yeah. I don't like him flushing on people. I don't like the... No, that was bad. And also, I drink apple juice, and somebody dared me to pee off the balcony. So that's what happened. I don't know why y'all are overacting. Okay, I wasn't watch. in the in the right, and I just was like, hey, there's a balcony right there to my left. Everyone's like, do it, you won't. And then I kind of did it with my dumb ass. But it Go was jail, 4 a.m., and there was a lot of people <laughs> with, like, a whole bunch of different stories saying, like, I actually peed on fans. Okay, now so I let's was- let's just cut it straight. You did it. End of story. Go to jail. Go You're to jail. fucking degenerate, bro. I'll be in prison soon. Also, this is the same one that said Ariana Grande was using him for clout. <laughs> so bro. the intelligence is already like low. You're, already You're like- literally a TikTok star. <laughs> 4 a.m. Everyone was asleep. It was just stupid of me to do in general. Playlist. I'm super sorry, by the way. Still banned, by the way. Here today, we're going to be uh, going to the clubhouse, but with a catch. There's okay, so this one is him confronting another creator for talking about him. Tough guy. 5'5", five, five, tough guy shit. Oh my God. He was talking shit about me on the internet. So today, I want to confront a pussy. Should I just walk through the backyard? The pussy? Don't hit him. I'm not going to. Okay. Oh that kid would fall over and hit somebody. You'll see a wild pussy in his natural habitat. Look, there's smart. smiling. Are you in his He's backyard? Like nothing happened. Did you, you just intrude on his backyard? You're a little pussy. Thank you, my God. What's this? Wait, wait, wait. Why is he in his backyard? Isn't that like, like, 
I think this is like a setup, like the clubhouse is like a TikTok house. Talk shit. You're usually supposed to back it up in person. Big shocker, guys. There's another pussy on the internet. Dude, you're oh. a vlogger. I'm talk shit. Oh, you come to front me, little bitch. Gonna... Seriously. Are you gonna cry? Kyo, tampon. Are you, are you gonna cry? You just went you off for no reason. You talk shit for no reason. I mean, you, like, went, you went off for no reason, buddy. This I is went cringe. off for no reason. Like, you're gonna talk about bro code? Like, buddy beat his own best friend and sent him to the hospital. I mean, this is me just what? confronting I don't know what anybody's talking internet. about, but I could tell he's a dude. I'm calling girls. Bro, the bro code is sent his bro to the hospital. I don't know. You you guys are all douchebags. I don't think anybody sent anyone to the hospital. Bryce ain't sent Bryce shit to the hospital, except, the hospital the the except his own. Has, <laughs> maybe when he like. Has, Who's doing this editing? Shit. What the hell am I watching? Maybe don't be a pussy in person like this. Because actually, got this for you. Fucking yeah, we pussy. already saw it. Right, thumbnail, real quick. Stop it. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> Alright, that's all I wanted to do. I'm actually taking this fucking cat food. You gonna return You're it? Still a bitch. I'll see you. You'll see me do what? Actually, my friends will see you, buddy. Oh, your friends will see me? Why don't you see me right now? Why don't you see me right now? Wait, wait, wait. You no, this is real. I think he's real. That? What do you, why don't you just I think do Bryce something? is actually that big of a dude. Hit me. Hit me. I dare oh my you. god, he is so damaged. Look at you. He is so unloved me, by his parents. Your, your friends are the so big bad wolves. Why can't you? Hit me. Oh, because you know you'll get your ass fucking whooped. No, because he's not. Okay, at least you admit it. <laughs> I hope your friends do more than what you did here and just sat here. I was expecting like Bruh, something a little bit more you just interesting. Talk to That's the end of the video, guys. Everyone on the internet's a fucking pussy. Peace out, guys. Oh, Love you. God. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> Disconnect utility this guy is so damaged. At a house He's so damaged. Yo, I love how he took the cat food. He's like, actually, I'm going to return this. This is like 20 bucks. Is that what he said? He took the cat food. He's like, I'm going to take this. It's like, why wouldn't you just leave him the cat food? That's a bigger disc that he has to do something with the cat food. And then, you know, he's not going to do something with it. And then someone's going to be like, dude, you got to do something with the cat food. It's like humiliating. He's got to deal with it. But Bryce took it because he actually wanted the $20 back. Wait, why was the cat food even there? Because he was calling him a pussy. Oh my God. Yeah, he brought him a whole bag of cat food. <laughs> This is embarrassing on so many levels. Okay, so and he's dating Addison Ray, who has like she's starring in like a movie that she's all that remake. Like she has like brand deals with Raising Cane's. Like, isn't she like embarrassed? Where's her parents? Like, this is so embarrassing. I would be so embarrassing. This is more. No, you think I was gonna say this is more embarrassing than Emilio's parents? I think the Emilio parents are more embarrassing than this because this kid's like what? He's nineteen, but he looks like he hasn't hit puberty yet. Like I don't get these kids. <laughs> How come they look like children? How they are. They are. <laughs> no, How old is Bryce Hall? He has to be He's 12. like fucking nineteen. I mean, he is can't even. Drink. He's out, he's out he's there talking minor? about he drank apple juice. Twenty one. So, There's yeah. no where. In that video we were watching. He's 21. He's 21. He's a child. He is literally a no, child. No, but he looks like a literal 12-year-old. Woody Allen I think, would love him. <laughs> Woody <laughs> Allen would love that dick. But. <laughs> or maybe he's... No, Michael Jackson, I guess, likes the boys. Mm -hmm. Woody Allen's strictly girls. Because his own son You believe said, the Michael Jackson stuff? I thought you were like a stan. I am totally anti-Michael Jackson, but... You are? Yeah, I think mm -hmm. he did it for sure. I, I know. I'm... I'm I mean, like, let's just look at the fact. Dude fucking shares beds with little kids. Case closed. Boom. Case closed. Case closed! You don't get in the bed with a little kid and you don't fucking- I went to his house. I wasn't in his bed. Yeah, but you're not his type, first of all. Not even close. Okay. I just watch. Uh, Bryce Hall, um, definitely douchebag of the day. Of the month. Oh, of the month. Okay. To stop the large parties held there in flagrant violation so of the So this one is the mayor orders. had to intervene because like he was throwing oh. these these uh, pandemic ragers. What house is he in? Is he in a house? I think he's in the- um, I think he's in the stat Why? the Satch house. The statutory house. I don't think that's an allegation against him. I'm just I don't know. That's what I all these houses are. The Statch be. house. We're in the Statch house, bro. Who do you think is more clout, <laughs> Faze or him? Uh, Faze. What's Faze it? probably has more clout. So maybe they should like. I feel like Faze has be. been around. Oh, Faze. Faze as an organization has way more clout. They're like big deal. More than Bryce Hall. Don't let Bryce Hall hear you say that. What does Bryce you Hall You might have? catch those arms. <laughs> Who would win in an arm wrestle? You or Bryce Hall? I mean, he would probably win. But if he wants to come talk to me, I'll talk to him. You know what I mean? He's like, well, you talk shit about me. I was like, you want to talk about why I'm talking shit? It's because you're a fucking douchebag. I would love to hear what Bryce Hall has to say. He's like, I don't want to fight you, clearly. I but I, if you want to talk about a, it. A Dixie D'Amelo and start talking about us. Because that's everything. I love when little TikTokers like get this like This guy stuff. doesn't dare fucking mention my name, dude. Don't even come for dude, us. Dude, I'm like, I'm like the... Uh, no, people are definitely I'm scared. the fucking boogeyman, bro. You mentioned my name. <laughs> I think I'm more boogeyman than you. Oh, you're boogeyman, too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We're double trouble. No, my theory is, is like Philip DeFranco doesn't even talk about you anymore <laughs> because I'm associated with you. And he's like, I think he's actually scared of me for real. Wait, for Could good be. reason. What does that mean? 
What good reason? I don't think there's a good reason he's scared. I, I think people are scared of me because they think I'm going to like talk about them, which you yeah. must believe I will. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, no. Uh, you know, whatever. But I think people are, I think are, people are a little scared. Oh, look, I don't want to be the person people are scared of talking about. And I also don't like the fact that people think I'm always in drama when I'm just saying truth. So, well, it's true. You are in drama. Always. I got to pay the bills somehow. Yeah, I mean, it's I think fine. Rolls Royce doesn't pay for itself on that lease. Mm. Mm. All right, let's watch. Was the even the mayor's involved now? Oh, God, so the mayor tweeted out, "This is true. Bryce Hall's a giant douche." The mayor, everybody. Look. Oh, okay. And put our communities at risk. Here's some footage from the party. This is Bryce Hall's party. No mask. Literally in a hearing for the mayor. He's gonna lose all his money with these house parties. I love it. He's like renting his mansion. Tell by my get up. We're oh, this was a recent order. one. So we're going to be so, going into random stores. really is dumb. He pretended to be an L.A. public building safety oh, official and started just God. going into buildings and seeing what he could go with, which is a felony, by the way. Oh, my God. That's what I'm saying. He's going to be in prison. He is going to be in prison. Around this area, trying to get access to He is continuing the long legacy of pranksters get. going to jail for felonies. We're with the Los Angeles Department of Building first. and Safety. We got some corporate complaints about the kitchen safety. Is that like McDonald's or something? I don't know. What? Doing Excuse this, me, like, it's not funny. Ways, yeah, it's not. Like, it's not funny or interesting, really. Uh, that was actually too fucking easy. They didn't even hesitate. You didn't, didn't do anything. Oh, you really got them. I got into the. I got into the boy bathroom, dude. That was too fucking easy. <laughs> Yo, I washed my hands and inside the McDonald's, the employees area of McDonald's. That was too fucking easy. Why? Wait, why did he, what was he, what was the <laughs> achievement? Nothing. He got, then he got to see where they so fry. The employees don't even give a fuck. They're like, whatever. Yeah, they're like, okay, dude. <laughs> Do you guys always keep it this messy bag here? How long have these been in here? They're good for a year. Anonymous customer okay. saying that, that they got diarrhea from the beans. Okay. Can we just inspect the beans to see if it's... Yeah, sure. You're braver than I am. <laughs> I hope they got them to sign stuff. Oh, here he is getting in a fight, which he does yeah. apparently oh all the God. time. Oh People have... I don't know fighting, but this is... <laughs> I feel bad for him in a way. He's obviously so insecure and like jet. Like, how who goes all around and gets in fights all the time? It's like, this is a deeply unloved this is person. This I'm saying. Like, the parents of these TikTokers need to like step in. Like, oh, his parents have lost total control. <laughs> like, this is someone else recording him candidly getting in a fight somewhere. Like, I'm sorry, who yeah. does that? I don't feel sorry for him. He's super arrogant and like. I mean, I do in like an indirect way of like knowing he's just so un so damaged and 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 uh, insecure. This is the generation once again that David Dobrik raised. Everyone wants to be like little David Dobrik and they're doing this stupid shit. Oh, he takes steroids. That explains everything. Enhancement or where? <laughs> Here. No, yes, I did. He says yes, I did take <laughs> steroids. But where's the steroids? Yeah, you're still a little baby, dude. That, like I know a steroid body. So that is not one. You guys. As you guys Nobody know, Face Jarvis leaked uh, Addison's number in his recent YouTube video. Oh yeah, he leaked. Who Face Jarvis is? I don't blame you. He's not really. So wait, what's the Face? He knows Face. Wait, what's the story with this Face Jarvis? Do you remember Dan? Something happened where they got in a beef with this guy Faze Jarvis. Is this the guy you're yeah. talking about? No, there's a the bunch house? of Faze people. Isn't there, that the one with the house with Mike? No. Okay. That's Faze Banks. He's one of he's someone else. But he's in his group. He's in Faze. Wow. Okay. Cool. So anyway, he got in this beef with this Faze guy, and he made a video saying, "Here's his phone number." He literally just put his phone number in a YouTube video, and Who? then it got Bryce. Bryce put a video saying, "Here's Faze's phone number." Yes, and it got taken down by YouTube, obviously. But he literally. That's like the number one thing you can't like be on anything. Like Twitter will let you do anything, but like if you dock someone, like you're kicked off all the platforms. He made platform. a YouTube video. It got hundreds of like, thousands of views, maybe millions of views. I don't know. Before YouTube took it down. That's like the like the only thing that like. People care about like doxing. Anything else you could like do, but that's crazy. This number, I was gonna call him, confront him, tell him how messed up and immature that was because leaking. Bro, this guy's trying to confront one, people all the time. It's doxing, and two, it's immature as fuck. It's illegal. What? Yeah. Yeah, he got a strike for this one. But hey, what? We didn't show it. No, it's the other guy. The other guy leaked his phone number first, or Addison Ray. I think it was an accident oh, or something. Addison's? I don't know what well, the fuck happened, but he put someone's phone number on his YouTube well, video. Towards Bryce Hall, though, at least he's, he's acknowledging and taking accountability. No, he's talking about what the other guy did. He's not taking accountability. Oh, okay. He said, this guy did this, so I'm going to show his I phone number. Oh, so he doxed him, too. Yeah. Yeah. This guy, what happened to his face? Is he like a boxer? I don't know. That's it. <gasps> he assaulted this guy. 
both. Wow, you fucked him up. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. And maybe you can't fight. <laughs> we hide. We're in a gated community. You can't no, come get us. Wait, <laughs> hey, let me keep this guy's video. face if you again. I don't know who Vase Jarvis is. I don't blame you. He's not really that relevant. But he leaked Addison's number. I was going to call him, confront him, tell him how messed up and immature that was. Because leaking people's number, one, is illegal. It's called doxing. And two, it's immature as fuck. So he did that. He said what you did was illegal and immature. And then he showed his phone number. So he did it too. Yeah, he did it too. <laughs> Obviously, we're not going to show it. People would have been on the right side had he not done that. I know. Yo, so he fucked, dude, he fucked you up. Wait, how do you know that's from him? I'm assuming that's, that's, what did this, it, this is, is Zach. Like, oh, assaulted his friend Zach Clayton. Yeah. <gasps> what? I took a fat L last night. He took an L. We were both in the wrong. Both what? were drunk. And everything that happened wasn't just one person's fault. I take fucking ownership of of doing everything like I was I was in the wrong for for you touching it you got beat up by Bryce Hall um, but nobody knows the real fucking story I can't even tell you we'll tell it the real he was just saying I was drunk fucking which is basically the excuse for everything like you get people you like that I just can't mention like you guys probably know oh, okay, that I it. have been really good friends with Zach Clayton imagine thinking it's okay to assault up. your best friend oh, because he knows that you cheated on your girlfriend I'm just like this sucks like, oh. Zach is the best so tan is saying his right? friend said he cheated on addison and confronted him and then he beat him up uh, i don't know who can follow this shit this track and tana is jumping Bryce in on it like that quotes my tweet and says if you cared so much about zach why'd you fuck me imagine responding to someone's <laughs> assault allegation by lying and saying that you fucked me and even if you literally did you Assaulted Zach. Lauren, oh. we've known each other for cheating a while. This is a proof recent one. Of this girl oh, yeah. I'm gonna this be was, pranking the media right into thinking that I'm a cheating scumbag. So now we need a paparazzi that we can trust uh, to make this. this one. <laughs> you were I hate this one. This is the one where like, we're gonna troll the media. First of all, you're not a troll, we have to say you're a troll. Second of all, the media doesn't give a shit. Hollywood Fix is not the media. It's a YouTube channel that forces collabs on people by shoving cameras in their face with an iPhone when they're out public. <laughs> forces collabs on people, that's why. No, this guy, <laughs> me and Moses got on there. He literally For real? <laughs> Oh, yeah. This guy with an iPhone comes out and just is like, it's just an <laughs> iPhone? Bro, come on. Step He's your like, shit up. What do you think about, what's your, what's the thing with Gabby Hanna? How do we think about the Friend of podcast? And we're like, Oh, you asked so about me? Yeah. Mm, <laughs> let's fucking go. We were getting like a job, which is, it was so I want to get blitzed by. All I could think about is like, people probably like, someone's paying this person to like follow them with an iPhone. It was so embarrassing. I was like, oh, can you just stop? At least get a real camera. Yeah. Like, make it look kind yeah. of, it was so, it's, it's so embarrassing. So Bryce sets up this, pr he wants to prank the media into thinking he's cheating on his girlfriend. <laughs> he's going to troll the media. No I, love how, I, I love how he goes, I'm pranking everyone to think I'm a cheating scumbag. It's like, okay, maybe it's not a prank. <laughs> maybe everyone already thinks that about you. Oh. Uh, he's completely believable. Do you trust Kevin Wong? I trust him. What up, Kevin? Me and Addison are about to like break the internet by doing a <laughs> huge break the fake. internet. Did you break the internet though? <laughs> you think you could? What is? Dude, <laughs> trust me, the internet We're, is not as unbroke. <laughs> We're about to break the internet with this cheating scandal. I, I bet if you asked hundred people on the street, they would have no idea who Bryce Hall's dating or. Who Hi, do you know who Bryce is. Hall is? No. Hi, do you know who Bryce Hall is? No. We're about to break the internet <laughs> with one dude with the iPhone. This is the problem with social media, is like the tic especially TikTok. It's all little kids that watch TikTok, so these people are thinking that they're somebody, like they're of importance. Like it's cool you have a Eating following, but damn. With Lauren Gray. Yeah, I'm all about that. All right. Hi. We're about to go do it. Are Why you excited you for this? I mean. No. <laughs> Hi, your boyfriend assaulted somebody. Hi, your boyfriend pees on fans. Like, you're Addison Ray, one of the biggest influencers. Like, why are you even participating in this video? You so, like, don't know him. You don't, you don't know him. Her what parents she are awful, too. Your parents need to be in on this. They're okay, okay, okay. Slow down, down. Slow down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Her dad is promoting okay. raising cases. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. How about get Addison away from you're this You're shooting assaulter. too wide right now. I'm going to shoot my load everywhere. <laughs> oh, God. That's all. That's, That's you're on the wrong platform for that. I'm gonna be the most hated person on no, the internet. Know. Literally nobody cares. Okay, this girl, do you know her? No. <laughs> she was like the Charlie D'Amelio of Musical.ly. Before TikTok was Musical.ly, this girl was oh, like really? the biggest- Is she big on TikTok? She was, and now nobody cares. Hmm. But this is what I'm saying, they all go into oblivion eventually. I mean, they're pretty popular on YouTube though, too. For now. Got, got it. I think it's that super zoom. <laughs> About to break the internet, bro. Frank's wow. done. We're gonna do one more. By We're the way, when, <laughs> by the way, when this went out, literally all I saw anyone saying was that it's obviously fake. Yeah, no one was like, oh my god, broke the fucking internet, dude. Those are oh. fucking good. <laughs> this is the first strategic chaotic thing we've ever done. Everything you know, it'd be awesome. Done, we fucked up if he actually went home and fucked her. 
You know what I mean? I don't think Nobody would ever okay. fucking suspect Also, this that. is why you need to get rid of your Tesla because yeah, it yeah, yeah, this yeah, time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wait, he drives a three? What, how these... broke is he? Oh my God, what a broke is <laughs> Wow, break the internet? No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Any car is good. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding because he's right off. We're not here by over here yeah, just criticizing yeah, I'm just saying. People. It's a good car. <laughs> I'm not car shaming. It's just Bryce Hall. <laughs> it's just Bryce Hall. Fuck these news outlets. Never trust what you see on the internet. <laughs> Tank time. <time. laughs> so, by the way, the, the, con- the conclusion he's making is so stupid. Never trust what you read on the internet because you're going out and and, and holding hands with a girl. Like, am I supposed to not believe that you're cheating? <laughs> it, it, you're the only one that knows that, dude. Your conclusion is totally These stumped. These are not pranks either. Like, I don't get it. Like, what is it? <laughs> Noah. Uh, mainly Dixie, right? It's Dixie. Sorry, Dixie, about this, seriously. So I have two strippers coming over. I'm going to have Noah blindfolded. Oh, so this was one where Dixie. Dixie is dating this guy, Noah, back. They're whatever. <coughs> and he brings two strippers and blindfolds them and then calls the girlfriend. Calls. Dick, his mm-hmm. girlfriend and shows him with the strippers. But he doesn't know what's happening. Pretty fucked up. Show her the strippers, get her reaction, then take the blindfold off of Noah and then see both of their reactions. Dixie's probably gonna be mad. Oh. Bro, I'm freaking out. Is she on? No, not yet. Stop! Oh, the fuck is right Wait, does he really not know what's going on though? What the fuck is that? I hope he does. Don't worry. Yo, deadass. Yo, stop, dude. What the fuck is- What is going on? Did she get mad? She just hung up immediately. I said you were pranking him. Oh, okay. Well, that was the prank. I just didn't want you to be mad at Noah. This was all me. <laughs> yeah. It, check the footage. I didn't even look. I <laughs> swear to God. I mean, yeah. Fuck. Dixie didn't deserve that, I, I but also the reaction. Everything will be good. <laughs> that yeah. was the last thing I would have thought. No. Just okay. This is not a prank either. You're just being an asshole. Oh, there's more. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. In any way, the vice hot prank. Who is this? Can you tell who am I looking fine. at? It's Nick. I have an opinion on it. It was okay. Not it's Nick friend. Dixie. So, uh, uh, do you find that acceptable, the, the prank? I, I didn't see it, so I really can't comment on it because uh, I, I, I saw it, it and I thought it was trash. Okay, <laughs> mom. Nobody. Okay, mom. Nobody cares about you. <laughs> If I feel like okay, they're at with the paparazzi commenting on, like, a prank someone did on me, it's like, So that's um, it. That's it. I mean, you know, douchebag of the month. Yay! Let's go exercise. I want to know who can do a pull-up. That's what I really care Maybe about. Maybe we'll find Bryce Hall there. Catch us at the playground. Oh, he's looking for me. Ca- Catch us at the pull-up bar, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Catch me at the monkey bar, bitch. I'm about to take your ass out. Listen, I don't want to fight anybody. <laughs> I love how he goes, you don't want to fight me because you're a pussy. It's like, nah, because I was loved by my parents. Right. If you want to have a conversation, <laughs> we can do that. Um, Bryce, you want to call into the podcast and talk things through? Let's do it. Yeah, I'm not so much a fighter, but I'll get down. You would trash somebody, though. Like, yeah, for I would sure. not go toe to toe with you. I have so much aggression. That's why. Like, there's a lot that I hold. I, 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 you would fucking kill me. I would not walk away alive from a fight with you. Mm, yeah, probs. Probs. Also, you've seen shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just saying that puts fight into somebody. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, seen shit like you've seen shit. You know? Uh, yeah. Definitely. Okay. I'm green. What? I'm green. That's what they say, like green, mm-hmm. youthful, amateur. Not youthful, but like <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I've been. I've been through shit. I've okay. sucked a dick for five dollars, <laughs> man. You never got a candlestick shoved up your ass, on, no. like forcibly. <laughs> that puts consent. fucking grit in your spirit. Totally does. I have PTSD. Like I sometimes wake up like worried. That's what I'm about saying it. I don't want to fight someone with PTSD. I for sure have PTSD, <laughs> for sure. That gives you extra energy when you're in a fight. I get freaked out, yeah. The P stands for powerful. Especially when I, like, black out. It's just like, watch out. Yeah. Anyway, you want to do... Thanks for not triggering me for, like, the whole year so far. 2021 has been a year of non-triggers, I I think like. we're just... We trust each other more. Or I think... Well, I I think you trust me more. Maybe. People think you just have handled me better. Like, watch... Ethan's really knows how to handle Trish. She knows when she's about to disassociate and steer. So I'm like, I don't know if he's that good in that. Well, game. we haven't had like a bit. I, I, I hope that I can if it happens again. But we haven't had like a big moment since the last one. I think we just had a good. I think we just have a good understanding now. I miss Doctor Drew though. You just want to fuck Doctor Drew like Definitely literally not. don't need him on our show. No, maybe he could help us with our eating disorders. Dude, Dr. Drew with Peace and Love, he literally just going to be like, Ethan, you're fat. What's wrong with you? Trisha, you're a goddess. He's like, Trisha, you're a goddess. You're fine. Ethan, you're fat and you're weak. That's why you can't lose weight. 
That's what he did last time. <laughs> I don't think he did that. <laughs> he was like, Trisha, you're amazing. Ethan, you're a loser. I was like, okay, Dr. Drew. Nice, I think he nice couples therapy. I think he's a professional. I give an unbiased opinion. I don't like him. I mean, I like him, but not, but I don't need him come out. Yeah. I like Dr. Drew. Cut that. Reverse it. Retake it. And play it over with this. I like Dr. Drew. Can you do that? Thank you. Don't cut it. Keep that in. That's funny. Yeah, that's I didn't mean it, though. You. I didn't mean it. With peace and love. I love Dr. Drew. Can we put in our frenemies hoodie with peace and love, like in the heart where the heart Oh, that's be? a really good idea. Is that hard to do? I don't know. No. It's not like we can cute. do anything. Steady fresh. We can do anything. I mean, I know that's like more your saying, but I think it's becoming the H3 Empire saying. Peace, with and, peace love. and love. Because you say it here. Peace. And you know what it's from? It's from Ringo Starr. Ugh. Canceled. We're anti Beatles on the pink side. No, but you have to see this video. He, he puts out a video because he gets a ton of fan mail and he goes... I am warning you to all of my dear fans, if I get any mail past May 1st, I will be throwing it in the garbage <laughs> with peace and love. He goes, with peace and love, with peace and love, Iconic. anything that comes after May 1st will be thrown in the dumpster. Iconic. That's for here. I'll pull it up. Oh, it's my God. One of my favorite, everything. It's one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite videos because it's like, I love the peace and love combined with the I am throwing it away. I'm warning you with peace and love. Oh, yeah, here. That's me. If you see me and you come for in for a hug with peace and love, I will run away. I do not want to <laughs> hug during COVID season. With peace also, and it's love. like directed all artsy. It's crazy video, man. It's awesome. Ringo Starr is crazy, though. Is he the only living Beatle? No, Paul McCartney's alive. What's wrong with you? Who, oh. Don't ask me if, who's Paul McCartney. I forget which one he is, though. Well, first of all, you can't be, you can't hate the Beatles and not know who Paul McCartney is. That just means you don't, don't know, know enough about name. the Beatles. Okay. I know more about the Beatles than you. We already proved this in our trivia thing. I knew. Or you don't even know who Paul McCartney who is. Who is the original drummer? Just because you know exactly. this. Exactly. I don't even like the Beatles, and I can tell you the original drummer. I just didn't know which one who was cares? Paul McCartney. I know one of them is Paul McCartney. I didn't know which. What is this? What the heck? Yeah, exactly. It starts off really close to his face for no reason. Oh, it's like he's older in this. Yeah, it's recent. Just happened. This is a serious message oh. to everybody watching my update right now. <laughs> yeah. Peace and love. Peace and love. I love that. I want to tell you, please, after the 20th of October, do not send <laughs> fan mail to any address that you have. Nothing will be signed after the 20th of October. If that has a date on the envelope, it's going to be tossed. <laughs> I'm warning you with peace and love. Yeah, I, I, love too much I am do. warning you. So no more fan mail. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. And no objects to be signed. Nothing. Uh, anyway, peace and love. Peace, peace and love. love. I am warning you with peace and love. Nothing. Nothing. I love that you're still signing autographs. Like I know. That's pretty, that's pretty gangster. I mean, that's really nice. Dude, how could the Beatles are like the best people. Like, Do you John, think he'd come on the podcast? Oh, for sure. Was that Paul or Ringo? That was Ringo. Do you think Ringo would come? Definitely. Paul McCartney? Definitely. Which one has a higher chance of coming, for real? Be real. Paul McCartney's an easy. Paul Ringo's a little... I think we could get them both. Which one's... Tell me, be for real. I know you're being kind of stupid right both now. Both of them are impossible. But which one has a higher chance Ringo, of coming? Ringo. Ringo. Because he's, sure. yeah. he's the lesser? Paul McCartney's like the most he famous person. He here? In this neighborhood? Yeah. In the gated community? What'd you meet? Oh, you met him with your with your peeps? That's awesome. Oh, okay. Most I love Ringo. Moses has more connections than anyone. Do you think he'll come to our wedding if we have Ringo? <laughs> if you want to come to our wedding, open invitation with peace and love. And Adam Sandler. Oh. He can appreciate Oh. I am oh. I inviting you with peace and love. Adam Sandler probably doesn't care. RSVP money. by October 20th or your invitation is going in the bin. The most money I could pay Adam Sandler to come to the wedding is maybe <laughs> half a million. But he probably doesn't. I don't think he does that. appearances. You pay him half a mil? I pay him half a million to come be in our wedding photos. Jesus, I'm glad he's not coming. That's too much money. Um, did you All right, know let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. For his daughter's bar mitzvah, he got Adam Levine to play it. I, re I saw that on Howard. Seems a little bougie. Like, okay, rich people. Like, well, he's so rich. I know, but it just feels a little like dance for me, monkey. It's like, come over here and play right. for my daughter. How much money for Adam Sandler to be dance with me, What, Dan? I know, but it's like this guy is a world famous musician. Come do one show for my daughter's bar mitzvah, which, by the way, it's like a bat mitzvah. It's not that serious, you know. Dude. Maybe it feels like it at the time, but it's like. I'm sure, I'm sure, hey, but still. Your next daughter that has a bat mitzvah, I'll come perform for free. <laughs> Didn't ask. Don't have a daughter either. No, Adam Sandler's other oh, daughter. Oh, okay. Yeah. It could happen. They might hey, be a fans of you. Also, don't say that. For $500,000, we'll come perform at your bar mitzvah. Anybody who wants us out there. Hmm. I'm not sure I would. I'll Does it include travel? Does it for include travel? Do you want to go 
Do I have to stay there? Like, give me the details. I do it for half a million. I'll stay with you. Guys or do I have month. to share the money with you? I'll come on your birthright. Is it half, half a million, million each or two fifty a piece? Two fifty a piece. That's not as much money. You wouldn't show up to a bar mitzvah. I might say no. <laughs> I'll do it. Look, I, I don't, I don't, I don't need two hundred fifty thousand with peace and love. I'll do it for sure. Because it's so awkward. You got to be there, and you have to be super nice. Like, oh, how, tell me, what's your Torah portion? What does it mean to you? All this dumb shit. You're like, listen, I don't fucking care. Hey, hire me. I speak Hebrew. Also, like, why is this rich kid entitled to this like extraordinary experience? Not that, but like, n- not with me, but like anyone. Like, why? Because they're so rich, they're entitled to this extraordinary. Cool. It is cool. But like, it's like you don't deserve that just because you have money. You know what I mean? That's like right. everybody, I know, but like you don't have to give it to. That them. doesn't mean they're going to turn out great. I mean, there's a ton. No, of, like, but I'm saying you don't. I, I feel like <laughs> you don't have to give it to him. You know what I mean? It's like you are fucking just a dude. Think the fact how- that you can pay me to come dance for you at your bar mitzvah is bullshit when you up poor middle class rich i would say middle class okay so when you're under middle class i grew up under middle class like i would love like we always have this debate too about like chores and stuff like that like i would love to give my kids the experience i didn't have i would love to buy them like that's cho- like you, toys that i didn't have and stuff that's like this. Uh, that's different than having like fucking uh adam levine come do a private show Having a ma- uh, someone, you know what I'm saying? Maybe like that's a different strategy. Maybe they're super, they go to Hebrew school. They have a tough life. But Tofu <sighs> Bara for good and bad will be there for you, Adam Sandler, and any other Jewish person that wants to set their bar mitzvah. Mm, Adam Sandler, five hundred thousand on the me. table. Not All me. you have to do is show up and take a picture. Uh, not me. Wedding. You can't buy me. I'm not a fucking monkey. I don't come dan- tip, t- tap dance for you at your bat mitzvah. You're just a normal girl, dude. Just enjoy your fucking bat mitzvah. Have a cake. Have your family over. Eat some more d'oeuvres. Get a little drunk on Manischewitz like you do. I'm not coming because I don't know you and I don't give a fuck about you. And you can't pay me two hundred fifty thousand dollars to pretend like I give a fuck about your bat mitzvah. Sounds like someone had a bad bar mitzvah what happened I had a your good mom embarrassed you she cooked bad food what was it no Why i had a good bar mitzvah oh really no i just have a i don't mm. like when people did the do chair, that did you fall off the chair oh my when god they you oh. up? and so you're traumatized no my bar mitzvah was great oh really yes well adam sandler wasn't your dad so i can't be that great <laughs> only people with adam sandler is the dad i'm sure she had a better wait did i trigger you so, yeah i'm just a i feel like right you're now. angry <laughs> i'm so angry you don't <laughs> No, I'm not saying anything bad about the girl. I you think she could be. Oh, yeah, but fuck about your bar mitzvah. It's more a comment towards people who. I bet she's humble. Sweet. No, I agree. She's out of the limelight. She's not <laughs> on social agree. media. You're doing a great job. No, she's your kids. the queen. Adam she's and Jackie a little... Sandler. You guys yes, are killing yes, it. Yes, I agree. I'm Jackie not... too. Yes, she. Give the mom credit. She's amazing. I she give the mom the credit. Yeah, the mom gets credit. They're the little a girl. Hollywood relationship that's stable. They show 100%. their girls. I don't mean to. You insult... deserve Adam Levine. Yes. And Britney Spears at your wedding. You're right. You're right. Do you think Steve Buscemi would come to my wedding? Buscemi, I don't think he gets many appearance requests. Because he was in the wedding singer. Remember, he's like wedding singer. Oh, yeah, you could get Buscemi. He could sing at the wedding. He sang at the wedding. How much you pay Buscemi? Um, uh, two fifty. Pay- oh, you pay him two. He was in Mr. Deeds, Big Daddy, Wedding Singer. You might be able to get him for less. Can we put that out there? Ten k for Buscemi. Like, he, he has to sing. Adam Sandler just has to show up. See, Buscemi needs to sing like he did at the end of Adam Sandler. Do you really want to hurt me? I love. You can have Steve Buscemi uh, show up for uh, one hundred fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? No way. He'll I just sh- go to celebrity talent. <laughs> no, that's fake. He'll it, seriously no, show up for one hundred fifty. That is. Stop. That is his appearance fee. But what does that fee. include? I don't. I don't I mean, I'm doing it, babe. That's on our budget. Tell our wedding planner. <laughs> Steve Buscemi. It's that's happening. so funny. Why? Can you imagine. He's just smoozing Steve Buscemi. You paid him off one hundred fifty thousand. There he has. What is anyone else that. on there, Dan? Is Adam Sandler on there? <laughs> Has a billion dollar contract with Netflix. He's <coughs> not on this. This is like the camera. Go ahead, Dan. Go ahead. Adam Sandler's uh, appearance fee is seven hundred and fifty thousand oh, dollars. Not far. Can you chip in two fifty? Me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not paying for that. Come on. Right off. A write off. Wedding gift. Yeah. What the fuck am I? Your? I'm not your Please. financer. Call your financer. I know her email now. I'll call her. Hi, hi. We need uh, two fifty <laughs> for Adam Sandler at my friend's wedding. Stop. Friend, sister. We share the same mother in law. Like sister in law. Yeah, we're sister. We're in laws. Sister in law. Are you serious? Is that a real site? That can't be. There is no way Adam Sandler is going to show up. I mean, I, I, obviously, I think he's passing on a lot of this stuff. Probably, it's not like. Get an offer Gosh, for I don't know. Show up for a hours. He did come to yeah. someone's wedding. If you type in Adam Sandler wedding crasher, he like shows up to people's weddings. So maybe we'll just throw and out. He's them. on the site. Okay, maybe. Is it who real? else is on there? I'm curious who else is on that site. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I mean, who who do you want? Jeff Dunham. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What? 
Jeff. Tim Dillon. Tim Dillon. Why Tim Dillon? Jeff Dunham is on here. How much? Uh, half a milli. Yeah, he does. He should what? get less. He's pretty popular, but Who I wouldn't. The fuck is I wouldn't. Jeff I would pay not to have Jeff Dunham at my dent wedding. <laughs> Keep is, your fucking puppets away from my wedding. Oh, he's puppet or blue collar blue collar comedy tour. He's the puppet oh, he's the boy. Puppet guy. You're thinking of, like, Larry. He's the racist puppet guy. <laughs> How is he getting half? There's no way that side is real. No, he's really popular. He's famous. Larry? You can get Larry for just 150. Yeah. Shemmy's 150 and he is in movies with Adam Sandler. All right. Can we stop this charade? Let's go do some You're exercises. You're the one that's like, oh, who else all is right, on there? So let's go do some pull-ups. What do you think? Yeah, I'm done. All right. Let's do it. Let's settle this beef once and for all. <laughs> hey, guys. We are out here at Balboa Park getting ready for our fitness competition. So excited. Trisha, do you still believe you can do a single pull-up? I have confidence this week I do, yes. Really? Yeah. You're feeling like, on a scale of one to 10, how confident are you feeling? I would say I'm at a nine and a half. Dude, ah, there's no way. <laughs> no. This whole thing got started because Trisha said she could do a pull-up and I said, there's no fucking way you can do a pull-up. My confidence that I can do a single pull-up is more like an eight. So you have more confidence oh, than me. Yeah, no, for sure can do at least one. Well, the first competition is who has the fatter ass. So I put on the these TikTok meme leggings. You're kind of cheating with your jock strap holding your ass up. No, where's the jock strap strap? Oh, <laughs> right, here? underneath your butt cheek. <laughs> oh, for real? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here. Okay. How do you <laughs> accentuate your ass? How do you girls do that? Well, you have to kind of push it out and then like the camera angle has to get a little lower. Here, come get in, get in that shit, Dan. No, push out more. You gotta put, put oh, the fort, yeah. Cause the pants is, <laughs> Yeah, put. <laughs> it's so small that it's like, this feels wrong. <laughs> Am I doing it right, Dan? <laughs> Maybe just like squat it. Oh, squat it? Pull your chest forward and your butt back. Chest forward. My, butt back. I, my ass crack is out. <laughs> I'm wearing a cup for. Uh... <laughs> Nobody needs to see my junk. Last time we did this, you could see everything, and I didn't need that. Is again. it padded? No, it's not. It's empty. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's supposed to go inside. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's just get right to it, shall we? I'm ready. So before we get too much into the exercising, mm. we are going to stretch, obviously, like every good athlete does. Is start... this part of the competition? Like, does someone win if they can hold their toes longer? Everything's part of the competition. Okay. What do we win? Pizza? Keto pizza? I have broccoli pizza in my freezer. <laughs> you win that as your prize? We can, well, whoever wins gets the extra slice. I needed to start losing weight, so it motivates me to start losing weight. Because if I look so fat next to you, then I'm going to have to start losing weight, too. So you need to start it. Oh, you want me to like shame you? Yeah. And to, I'm, I'm doing my best. I think fat shaming works, not for me, but I do think it works for people. But see, I'm, are you saying that me just losing weight is fat shaming you or do you want me to fat shame you? No, the comments will fat shame you. Oh like, yeah. Ethan's looking great, Trisha's still a pig. And when we were chefs, they're like, wow, they look so much bigger standing up. They? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you include me? I did look massive, I remember I that. Too. I was like, fuck. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> we should just rename it two fatties <laughs> eating pork or some shit. Two, two big fatties. fat porky fat. Fox. Well, you're not fat anymore. You lost a pound and a half. <laughs> not fat anymore. <laughs> I lost a pound. So we're going to be grabbing our toes and seeing how long we can hold it. Okay. Okay. Now, can you even grab your toes? I mean, my knees aren't. Oh, that's pretty good. Damn, girl, you should make an OnlyFans. Thanks. I have one. <laughs> OnlyTouch.com. I'm. <laughs> my form isn't perfect. I'm. I'll, I'll <laughs> definitely uh, concede that. Yeah, your knees need to be flat. I, I told you, your I'm not. To it's not flat. good form. I. I said that. Okay, that's then that's not the stretch if your knees aren't down. I mean, if my knees are All up, right, I can. Okay. Fine, we stretch. I What's win. Next, Ian? Not Thank everything you. is a competition. Uh, you said everything is competition. Rewind the tape. Okay. Planks? All right, planks. Three, two, one, blanket. Okay, I can do it. <laughs> oh, you can do it too. <laughs> oh, shit. This is okay. You can't hold that. Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. You're the one shaking. And I have. You boobs. feel all that weight? <laughs> what weight? all that weight. <laughs> I'm weightless. No, you're not. You are so fucking, you can't do it. Is this the voice of the How are you head? holding it so long? I'm good, I have quick core strength. I'm not even gonna do this. Why are you so good at this? <laughs> Get, put that leg down. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Trish is an elite athlete. You gotta be on top more. Oh, interesting. You hold yourself up. Cause you don't wanna have all your fatty weight on top of your partner. So you gotta hold yourself. I feel like when you're on top, you're one of those guys that put all their weight down like this. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm like, don't put it on me. Ela says, uh... Oh, she probably gets crushed, huh? She complains that, that I hurt her back once. And with you on top? Yeah. I was like, oh, God. Because you put too much weight on her. 
Yeah, that's why I try not to be on top. That's why we do it from the side. From the back? Because I want back? her to survive having sex with me. <laughs> Has she ever smashed you, Moses, during sex? No. I don't buy it. I hold myself up so good. You saw those core, the planks. I was impressed. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see how long you can go. You want to time it? I'm just impressed. I, 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 okay. I, I you don't... want to try again or you're just going to watch me? I'm here to, I'm just here to comment. <laughs> Moses, do you want to put a timer on, like a minute? See if I can hold it for a minute? <clears throat> if you hold it for a minute, I will buy a Rolls Royce. For yourself? <laughs> I know it's rewarding to myself, but you're the one that wants me to get it. We'll be matching. That's what I'm saying. I don't think you can do it. <laughs> no way! How are you doing? Good! I you, mean... You feel like you're gonna make it? I, I am know. so <laughs> shocked. I am so freaking impressed by Trisha right now. I will go fucking waste all of my money on a Rolls Royce. Don't make me laugh! Holy fuck! So you gotta get a Rolls Royce, not a match. So you're okay with me getting the Rolls Royce for the show? She says she's her hands are tied. Yes. <laughs> she can't say yeah. no. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Ready? <laughs> Ready. Down. <laughs> Down. What? <laughs> Down. Ow! Oh, my knees. I lost. Is that a win? Is that a W? I wasn't even going down as low anyways. My boobs hurt. Why do your boobs hurt? What does I that don't mean? know. I think oh, I need new implants. It's been six years. Do they go sour or something? Yeah, you can feel them whirl around. You get them out and then put new ones in? Mm -hmm. I've had two boob jobs. But does the boob technology work, improve? So like maybe it feels more natural or do you like the fake look? I like the fake. I want them to be faker, but mine are too big. Faker? Mm -hmm. With the roundness on top. That'll be my gift to me. <laughs> <laughs> slow down, girl, you fucker. <laughs> oh, you slow down? What are you doing? <laughs> so early, dude. I'm on 14. 14? <laughs> I can't complete with this. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. I okay. don't know what, where this, where this extreme athleticism is coming from. <laughs> It's crazy. So extreme. No, I'm, I, I'm, I'm honestly, you're out of my league right now. Okay, so balance. You're in my fucking space. You're dude. in my space. Get the fuck out of my personal space if you're gonna be doing a balancing competition. You have pretty good um, balance, actually. Don't knock me over. <laughs> Wait, I was goofing. Hold on, I'm gonna do it again. I don't want to lose you. <laughs> Rather die. I'm not fucking around. I'm trying to get oh back. Oh my god. I'm on my left. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, be fucking. <sighs> this is not tranquility, bro. Fuck this. You're gonna fall. You're so unstable. No! Look at you wobbling. What? I didn't touch. No, even. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, touch. so I beat you the first time, you beat the second. Now okay. it's three. It's, it's out of three. Oh shit, okay. You see that shadow of the plane? That was epic. Oh! I fell. I'm, I'm tired. I did 25 sit-ups. That was pretty good. I feel you are all severely underestimating my basketball skills. Oh shit! No! Oh. <laughs> Dan, your height, man. I feel like I don't even need to you shoot. You gotta it. make the basket. All right, all net, all net. Oh wow, lame. Hit the rim. I mean, lame. Right, I got, got it. If you beat me at this, I'll kill myself. Okay. I'll end my own life. Ow, my nails! Go. Oh, shit. I got it. It's like coarse. Oh, Ooh, my nails! What that was hurt? a fucking brick. <laughs> I get to defend you. Okay. One-handed. Oh. I don't think that's the right technique. Watch this layup, I'm gonna make it. I made it! Okay. Right. I think that's a dub for me, no, right? No, the competition should be how many you can make in a minute. What? This ain't fucking, we're not yeah. playing for tokens. If you could take the ball for me. That's not fair. I'm not coordinated. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, you, ball, you lose. I can't do this, you guys. 
You can bet. I can't run anymore. I'm gonna be at her all day. So who's the longest? Who holds the longest? Let's make the rules clear this time. You win everything. I'm not gonna bet against you in this. I didn't win a basketball player according well, to you. Well, basketball, I shred. I have the ghost of Kobe. You didn't shred. <laughs> oh my God, that's blasphemy. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, go. God, ghost of Kobe, give me strength. <laughs> It was like my strange addiction. The girl was addicted to being furniture. Are you breaking already? No, are you? How much time? Yeah, this is very hard for me. I'm good. You are good? Yeah. What? Are you, how are you good? I've got the thighs of a horse. I feel like I'm doing more though than you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm out. You keep going. Cause you're you're just so, honestly, I would never <laughs> bet against you again. Really? Keep going. I'm the winning Clydesdale. <laughs> I got horse legs, that's why. Is there a seat under you? <laughs> Stupid. So we're debunking the myth that fat people are unhealthy. I didn't say you were healthy. <laughs> Let's get that straight. No, I'm endurance. What is it? Endurance? Huh. I have endurance. I can have sex for like an hour. I have endurance. It's okay. squatting on the dick. Like, Is that down. what you do? <laughs> yeah. So if you're bouncing like this, that's like squat size. And then you pulsate up. Okay, come on. This is in the only chance. <laughs> you're fucking up. You can't, uh, this is so pathetic. I'm so bad at this. I'm so oh tired already. Trisha, just mess up already. <laughs> Are you tired? No. I'm out. I'm burning, I'm in pain. Okay, <laughs> let's do trick jumping. Okay, but I won the jump rope. This is the true winner. And you, you won that, you said Watch you won. Watch this. <laughs> That's not the competition. It is now. I can't believe you hop in the middle. Ah! Okay, we're done. I win. <laughs> you didn't Chris win. Cross. You literally didn't win that. Woo! Yes! Run like the wind. <laughs> God. I didn't even lift off, wow. did I? 649. World record. It went up. It did? Yeah. Okay, not to flex, but I need this like really tight. Oh my God, I'm so, dude, somebody's gotta get a shot of this. Look at how fucking huge I am. It's not even close, and that was tight on me too. But we do weigh the same, which is interesting. I mean, I do think I'm heavier than, we should weigh ourselves when we get home. I think I weigh heavier than you. Well, I mean, you've got like fucking tits. Thank you. Got it! <laughs> got it! Put your arms down! Get your hands off your boobs and run! <laughs> How'd we do? Okay. My mile was 45 minutes. <laughs> Not joking. That's like slower than walking. Yeah, I had the record. Did you crawl? You had the record for the longest mile? I swear, in Illinois I had the longest record. mile. What a mile. prestigious uh, award. I feel like a pig literally getting the trough. Okay, here I go. I'm not confident right now. With my, once my hands are on the bars, I'm not feeling good. <sighs> I'm nervous. <laughs> that was good! No, I didn't do it, I didn't even get close! Oh, that's not considered one? How is that considered one? I didn't even get, you have to get your chin over the bar. Chin up. Chin up. I thought you just had to be up a little. I'm gonna crush the fucking bar! I can't do it! Are you being serious? I'm dead fucking serious. I gained like 100 pounds since the last time I did it. 100 pounds of muscle? This is like 100 pounds of fucking glued to my gut right now. I'm, my arms are shot, you guys. This is embarrassing. This is not how I wanted this to go. I'm nervous now. Okay, I'm just gonna jump as high as I can. Try a squat and go, okay. <laughs> wow, this is pathetic. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I need a running start. Well, hold on. Yeah, sure. Take okay. you need. You need a jet pack. <laughs> no, I'm gonna be able to do it. It's just the sun's in my face, I think. You think that's affecting the strength of your arm? I literally can't see. <laughs> Holy shit, what was that? Ready? Okay, this is all you. <laughs> I got it more. <laughs> Never mind, let's Did do you? Yeah? <laughs> I guess I saw some movement. I got it. Hold on, Well, I didn't realize Trisha thought that was a pull up. <laughs> just like moving at millimeters. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Yeah, now it makes more sense. I didn't know you had to go over You're the bar. You're practically an Olympian by that standard. No, we had to do something called the flex arm hang. And this is it, right? Arm hang, listen to what you just said. How long can we hang for? Should we try that? Yeah. Sure. Okay. That, that sounds more in our lead. Ready? Ah, don't <laughs> oh, oh my God, I'm so fat. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to beat 
Uh, <laughs> Ew! Uh, no, I didn't fart. Ew. Stop the fart gate. This is the big tiebreaker, and to be honest, I don't know that I can take you because you've proven you're you're a Goliath. You're a juggernaut. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> a you're, juggernaut. You're a you're a warrior, princess. You're Xena. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> are you feeling confident that you could beat me right now? Mm, yeah. Do you feel like you're Xena? You are Xena? I don't know what that is. Xena the warrior princess? No, I don't know that. Oh. Like Andre the Giant, maybe? Oh my God, I could. your grip is already scaring me. <laughs> and you've got like this crazy, and your hand is all crazy ass like spray tan. That's, <laughs> like you've squeezed the life out of someone's neck before. Oh my God, she, you're gonna demolish me. You got baby hands. Dude, I could tell by your grip, you're gonna crush <laughs> no, me. No, I'm like sweating, sorry. You are gonna kill me, no, dude. I'm I can not. feel your strength coursing through your arm. I'm scared of my nails, okay. okay. you say when, Dan. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, she's strong. She's strong, dude. Boy, she's powerful. <laughs> but you, oh my God, she is so strong. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you're me off <laughs> your wrist. Don't break it. Dude, she's so strong. Where do you get this strength? This girl's been through shit in life, I can tell. She has <laughs> seen things. She has seen You're things. You're making me laugh. Oh my god, she is so powerful. I'm not what fucking right. You're scaring hand? me. Anything? What? Can we do anything with this? No! Hand? We can't leverage. Come on. <laughs> oh, thank God. I, I thought you were gonna win. I wasn't playing that up. I thought you were gonna dunk it. I don't me. think it was fair because you were like flipping your wrist, like as about so I would have broken it. Oh no. Is that a technique? Are you allowed to do that? No. Exactly! It's your Tourette's. It <laughs> it's my Tourette's. <laughs> you want to do left hand? I mean, okay. I feel like I have a stronger left hand. I, I think I have a really weak one. Okay, ready? Okay, no bending the wrist, okay? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh, she's so strong. <laughs> so... I swear to God. You're bending your wrist on me. I'm not bending it. And you're pulling my arm towards you. <laughs> it's just not fair what you're doing to me. And why are you so strong? You're like Hulk Hogan, female version. <laughs> this is crazy. What is this Amazonian strength? <laughs> Oh, thank God. Oh, you're making me laugh. It's not fair. I can't focus. Dude, you're too strong. I can't deal with it. Whatever. All right. That means I win? I mean, you technically didn't because I won more competitions than you, but if this is what makes you want to win, fine. Yeah, but the jump rope. Is I definitely won. I think, look, we agreed that this was it. So I think, Ethan, you can play the slide, everything, <laughs> the balloons. Fine. Ethan's the winner. Ethan wins. Next week we should do trivia so I win again. Like Jewish trivia. <laughs> I'll Famous win. Jewish trivia? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go get the Rolls Royce and then get fast food with our Rolls Royce. Okay. Which is the whole vibe. You have your lights on? Mm. How is it? Protein. Skinny in a Rolls Royce. Skinny legend chip. Me too. I feel like it's definitely the cleanest ride ever, but it's kind of embarrassing just to be in a Rolls Royce. Why? It's the opposite of embarrassing. It's more embarrassing it's if your so car breaks down. No, it's so show off -y. that's why. But yours is more understated. You bought me in and out, that was so nice. You're welcome. You just got a Rolls Royce, so I was like, it's so nice. The lady in front, she goes, she doesn't say any, she doesn't explain, she just goes, Trisha bought you food. Like we all know Trisha. <laughs> oh, right, because you could have been just like, you know, they do that trend where yeah, people she just goes, buy. She goes, Trisha bought you food. I was like, okay. Is that all you said is okay? She said, Trisha bought you food. Well, I was like, wow, okay. We're going to repair. You know what? I do that anyways for people behind me all the time. You do? Yeah. It's a thing, it's a trend people do. And then they Does usually. She do that? Have you seen her do that? And then you pay, and then usually they pay for the people behind them. Like it's a, it's like a train. I wouldn't be like, thanks, idiot. <laughs> oh. If it's a train, just pay for your own food. Well, someone eventually stops it. You know what I mean? She told me though. I said I want to pay for his food. She goes, okay, but it's six twenty-four. <laughs> I was like, okay. Why not? Like, why is it so small? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, it was a celebratory dinner. Mmm. Does it taste better in a Rolls Royce? Definitely. <laughs> People ask for our autographs. We were like popping. <laughs> just, we were blowing this in and out up. <laughs> Twice. They all know who we were. I don't think I've ever given so many autographs. Maybe they're not allowed to ask for a picture. Maybe that's why they do the autograph thing. What do you write when someone asks for an autograph? In their name. 
just their name. Mm-hmm. I mean, and then love. I said, love you, girl. Love you, girl. Do you love her? <laughs> you do love her. I don't know what to write. I wrote, appreciate you. Did you? Ethan. And then I wrote Ethan Klein. Like, I wrote my last name. That doesn't seem... Did good. you put H3? That's love and peace. You. you think H3? Did yeah. you put your last name? Mm-hmm. Oh, you do. But I'm Trisha Paytas. Right. If I saw you through drive I'd be like, where's Ela? Uh-oh. There's someone who's next to us. It's okay. Okay. I get so paranoid. Mmm. We should just do our podcast like this. This is so much fun. This is a new pod. <laughs> that was a great ride. I loved it. So you know regrets. I hope you don't like wake Why up in the morning. so far? Where the fuck are we? We drove so far. No, you're close to you. It's bad eyes. Is that what the? Is that what you put in my navigation? Mm-hmm. Something's weird in the navigation. Oh, the closest one was UCLA or Sunset, mm. and this was closest to your UCLA's house. fucked up. Yeah. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm so good. I got a vanilla milkshake too. <laughs> keto tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow we start keto. Are you really? Yeah, for real. A thousand percent. Because, like, you're going to lose weight and I'm going to be like, okay, I need to, like, catch up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Because, babe, swear, I swear. We talked about this. We're making hard boiled eggs for I'm lunch. I'm dedicated. I'm going to be dedicated too. What are you going to do to help her? I love keto. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Just give me eggs, chicken, meat. Yeah. Can you get down with this? Yeah. You can? I, li- I like keto things, so I'm, I'm, this is like my last meal. You have to be smart though, because you asked me if like fruit is keto, which is not. So you have to be, you have to be I like, think I'm going to be pretty strict though. Like eggs, chicken, like I think I'm going to be like as strict as I can be. I don't think I'm going to do like the cheese and stuff. Why? Cheese is keto. Well, cheese breaks my skin out. Does it? Tomorrow I'm going to have like, like my skin's been clearing up because I've not been eating cheese. Yeah, I could eat three of these. Oh, another yeah, one? No. I just saying I could. Why are you trying to make me fat? No, yeah, vegan. You can eat whatever you want. Vegan? I mean, keto. You know? <laughs> Why, you got one in your bag? It has a bun on it, but I can give you the patty. <laughs> no, I'm not going to rub it. I'm good. Why? I don't need it. Why? Did you buy an extra burger? Yeah. Mm-mm. How many burgers did you get? I got one, but I had a chicken sandwich from McDonald's. We had a falafel truck, falafel. And I had these cheese fries, and I'm full. Do you want it for real, the patty? No. I don't want to take your meal. I'm not going to eat it. Like, I really am. You're really not going to eat it? I swear. Well, then give me the fucking food. <laughs> if you're just going to throw it out. No, the cheese fries literally were so filling. Oh, yeah. Don't eat the shit. bun, though. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. Oh, what the fuck? Excuse me? What the fuck did you just hand me? <laughs> That's, That's how she I eats. Get. Just meat and bread? Yeah, but I swear I'm not going to eat it. I promise you on everything, I won't eat it. Everywhere. That's Wait, all she eats. You smell this meat. Just eat the meat. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a dog. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's what I feel like. What do you get on it? I mean, everything. This is just the meat. Lettuce, tomato, onion. Is it good though? Juice. Yeah, okay. Love it. Best. Okay, I'm going to be so skinny next week when you see me. If I do this for real, I'll get I'm going to Rolls Royce eating a fucking. Like, this is the <laughs> most unbougie meal right here. I know. It does suck when you have money to, like, afford food, but you can't eat the food because you're fat. Like, I grew okay. up poor. And so I was just fat from eating bad food, but now that I can afford the good food I want to eat, I can't eat it because I'm fat and I gotta stop eating. What do you mean you can't eat it? So like, let's say I really want like gourmet mac and cheese from Mastro's. Mm-hmm. It's like forty dollars. I never. What do you mean you eat shit like that every day? I shouldn't though. That's what I'm saying. Now that I have to do keto, I'm gonna be eating hard boiled eggs. You're eating fries right now. Okay, but tomorrow when I start my keto, I'm gonna have to eat hard boiled eggs. You have your whole life to eat Mastro's mac and cheese. That's a good point. You're right. I gotta think that mindset. I'm just sad to give it up. Do you have a napkin? Yeah, I got several. What happened to your napkin? I just want to ask you for something so you can hand me through the window. Oh, yeah, it's kind of fun. Thank you. I'm so full. Honestly, we ate so much food today. I'm so over it. Oh, that was so good. Yeah. Well, I got to say, what a day it's been. What a day. What an episode. I mean, this is, we put in our hours today. We put in our work. All day. It felt like a, a shoot, twist. like a movie shoot, where you like get to set at like ten and. <sighs> we sent, we've done it all today. You can see me. Oh, this is a wide angle. Can you see my hand? <laughs> yep, uh, I can see you up to. Wide. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do with it? What's the first thing you're gonna do? Put it in my driveway because it doesn't fit in my garage. And leave it there. It's gonna fit in your garage. No, I won't regret it. It's uh, the only thing is just it's embarrassing. I love the car though. But I'm just slightly embarrassed to be driving it. Because it's like such a flex on the world. 
Yeah, okay, but think about this way. You but literally it's not my fault. Money. You made me do it. Oh, <gasps> don't put that on oh, me. It's definitely you tell your mom that she's really gonna hate me forever. She already hates me. Too she's late. gonna double hate me. Too late. We're not. I'm not coming to Passover. Just side note, you don't put this in, but not that we're invited. I can't come. You're out on my mom. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's so awkward. <laughs> She's coming. She's coming. I, babe, I literally cannot. I've told you. Anyways, this is a side note. Why? Well, my mom watches all of our shows. She, like, knows everything. Exactly. Anyways. Well, that's, like, ancient history. You and the family, you got to have Passover with my mom. Duh. My mom. Oh, his mom? Wait, you don't want to meet his mom? No, I'm going to meet his mom. I'm going to meet his mom. You're not going to come to Passover with his I'm mom? I'm not going to come to Passover. You're talking about my mom. That's insane. That's not even an option. No, I'm going to meet his mom. I'm not going to come to Passover Why? with your mom. Oh, my mom's the problem. <laughs> okay, that's more fine. No, because she hates me. So I can't come to a place <laughs> okay. I'm hated. And your sister. Could you imagine? I did talk so much shit on the first episode. I'm not doing it. It's so embarrassing. I'm so you embarrassed. You didn't expect to become my sister. Right. I'm embarrassed for myself. Right. Well. Bruh. Is that what you said? I said, well. He called me bro. <laughs> Who, me? No, the, the Rolls Royce guy. Rolls Royce guy. That. He must know that I'm non binary. I don't think he knows that. <laughs> he's funny. You know what? I was just a little sour because like, he's the enemy. Because, like, we were doing these hard negotiations and he giving us all this shit. Oh, you didn't want me to be chosen? No, I never could, heard that no, word before. No, you could schmooze. I just like, oh, this fucking guy just took me for the ride of my life. You know what I mean? Yeah, but look at you. You got the ride of your life from it. Now you yeah. have it forever. It was a close call, by the way. We almost didn't close the deal. Why? It was like a lot. I mean, with the Rolls Royce. Why? Well, because I had to get insurance, and then people didn't want to insure such an expensive car. Mm -hmm. And then I had to, my credit card limit wasn't high enough for the down payment, so I had to call the bank. And then they couldn't raise it on such a short notice because the office was closed. And yeah, they had to it was run late. a credit card check, which would take until like later next week. And so then what we had to do was like put a little on the card and a little on this card. It's like such a stretch. Oh, I and hate by that. the way, I was gonna if it didn't fall go through today, I was gonna be like peace out on this shit. Of course, yeah, I would have been too. Signed by God, fuck you. That's why tomorrow I'll be like. Mm. I think better. I told him, I was like, I'm going to sleep. And when I wake up, I'm not going to want this car. So you better close this shit today. No, you will. I would have walked away. I think you'll be like, wow, it's a lot, but you'll you'll be happy. No, I'll be happy. I'm just saying I would have walked away if it didn't go down tonight. On God, as they say. Who said I'm that? I'm so jealous of you. Okay, this is, I know. I'm going to be keto tomorrow. I'm keto so tomorrow. Fucked. I'm going to be with you. I promise you I'm going to do it with you. I promise. For real. Because I really want you. You've inspired me. Wouldn't it be so cool, though? Like... If we got so skinny. Yeah. If we got the oh. we got super skinny, it's like. But I have so many reasons to diet, which like my wedding How about not and my dying? music video. I mean, no, because this is not healthy. Keto's going to kill you with all the cholesterol and stuff. Well, you don't do it forever. You just do it for like a couple days. Yeah. You don't have to eat just like all cholesterol. Like I have <laughs> like eggs and spinach. I have mm -hmm. like broccoli soup. You know what I mean? It's definitely not healthy for you, but you lose weight. Well, who says it's healthy? You just said. You don't want to die, but you probably will die from keto. Uh, Heart no, attack. I'm going to die from being a fucking fat larded dog shit that has like 50% fat on his body. I'm going to do keto because I have so many things. I have to be so Yeah, sweet. they seriously gave me two creams for a coffee this size. Like, uh, excuse me, you asked for my fucking autograph, I can get four creams. Oh, wait, speaking of coffee, can you make a friend of me's mug, like the H3 mugs? Uh, probably. I mean, yeah, of course we can, sure. Is that hard? It's just, I don't know why, but when we were doing the H3 mugs, the... I love those mugs. They're my favorite. We had coffee in them yesterday. The mint, I don't know what. They, we were doing it through Represent, so it wasn't a great deal. We could make them through, like, with Teddy Fresh. will be much better conditions. But I love it. Even my mom was like, oh, they should sell these cups. I'm like, I know. The thing is, we were making, like, 50 cents for sale because they were really expensive. Mm. And there was really high minimums. Oh. So we were like, this is pointless. Even though we love them. It wasn't worth the effort, you know? No, we just make them for us. No, we can make them for friendlies if we source them through Teddy Fresh. Just because our people are, are, you know, we have good people. I want the giant mugs, you know. Mm. Madonna Inn has really nice mugs. Love the giant mugs. You gotta always be on the lookout. I'm not, dude. This is the only time I'm gonna put down my window. <laughs> yeah, never do. I'm never putting down my window again. The internet's gonna come for you though. They got so mad at me when I rolled up my window, or when I rolled up my window for that girl. I wanted food, and then Actually, I rolled it up. You did a good job defending yourself though, because you're like. You went on like a whole thing about how you never know, and I was like, I think you convinced a lot of people. Uh, no, like literally, people get like carjacked. You're right. And... You're right. I you you convinced me. I backed off. That was 
but that was the most insane thing I've ever heard people being like wow you didn't get that per-. I'm like oh, excuse me what well, like, people thought you were just like bye homeless punk <laughs> oh my god okay well that was a great app I hope you guys enjoyed that Hmm, long. I'm this broke now. Action packed. I'm fucking. Thanks, Trisha. I'm, you came into my life. <laughs> you're my brother in law. You fucking are in my house around my son, just like you said you would. And now I'm broke because of you. You're you now I'm in fucking debt. Oh. oh, God. What's next? I mean, you <gasps> took everything from me. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm kidding. You probably kill me, though. That's how this ends. Ah. Uh... That's it anyway. <laughs> what the fuck kind of caravan is that? Just walked away from us. So we want to end with the cars. Alright, see you guys next week.